last time. You guys have all found yourself gathered in a small inn. Known as, I forgot what it's called because I don't remember my own notes. Either way. <laughs> I can open up my notes. <laughs> eclectic <clears throat> group of adventurers. The IO. The IO is what it's called. It's the name of a moon. Idiot. That's me. Forehead idiot. dude. Got him. <laughs> um, collected for whatever purpose. Haunted by dreams, nightmares, and unmarked cards. With the discovery of a bad wine that you thought you that you should absolutely know. And plagued by more dreams. You guys woke up, stepped outside, and found yourselves in a forest. Soon pursued by beings of lupine nature. Till retreating, you found yourself in front of a well put together kinda old Victorian manor house with a little girl consoling her little brother uh, girl con consoling her little brother as she her saw you guys approaching she turned to you and said please help us there's a monster in our house and our little brother is trapped inside wait she said our house like it's her house yeah. okay I thought she said that house last time okay Whew. I would like to flip the kid off and do the Fortnite take the L dance. No. <laughs> Default dance on her. <laughs> All right. Wow. You guys are standing outside of this manor, staring at this little girl. The fog evervescently kind of traveling around you in what is a barren, dead forest, mostly. Wind, chilly, not freezing but it's definitely cold whenever you feel it with a crying with crying children in front of you what are you doing uh how far are we how far away are we from the house uh you're maybe about 80 feet can you're i see the monster see the entire house can i see the monster through the window nope like to confirm it the window. it is Do completely we... is completely dark inside do we hear? Can we like hear the monster? Oh like, yeah. Groan, groan. Or like, even uh, hear the kids screaming. Check. Can I do one as well? Like a perception check. The kids are crying. You can see they're crying. No, in I mean, like, can we like... hear the kid inside? Oh. I meant, like, screaming maybe. Uh, make a perception check. Yeah. <laughs> Four. Uh, perception. I rolled a. Can we all do it? Four plus yeah, three. I got a. Yeah, I got a seven. Crap. Okay, so Rudy and I hear two turtles getting it on in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> Bad vibes, bad vibes, <laughs> bad vibes. Oh, oh my gosh, Vaughn, we're here, doing it. Oh, I got two. I don't think I heard him. <laughs> oh no, but it's got a two. Oh my god, we're all at perception. Come on, Keller. Timothy got a two. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. Dead kid. <laughs> oh uh, no, Joe, clutch for us. Valentine, you have advantage. Joe, on clutch. Sight and hearing. Joe, clutch, please. Okay. Our highest roll right now is a seven between um, four people. Has anyone seen Blocky? Oh, okay. I think he just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Not there. He just disappeared. Oh crap! There's another mystery afoot. Actually, I'm gonna get my real dice. I like that. that I like that. It's yeah. That's, that's I mean that's what I'm doing. Hey, little you've girl, been, you you've sure been you here the whole time. Belly? We couldn't perceive you was here. Uh, yes. Trevor, right now you say he's screaming, but we can't hear him. No, he's not there. Trevor, right now you do this, but doesn't Joe also do this? When you roll a bad on your dice too many times, you just get rid of it. Oh you yeah, guys are I just kind of put it back. No, I, put it, I, put no, I know back, you do, but does Joe? Does Joe do it too? Um, I've done it one time. Like, but I have so many dice. You do have a lot. I don't have the camera. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but this like the numbers are like actual gold leaf. I've seen those. That that so I never actually seen you yeah. got those right before I moved. Yeah. I have every dice moved. but a D twenty. Here it is. That's good. Because that's like the least important dice of this whole game. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have an advantage on it, you said? Yeah. Yeah, on bull on um, um anything that involves seeing and hearing. And these are more gemstone dice that I have. Right. Dude, I literally like skills. And this is insight, right? Perception. Oh, perception. Uh, that's gonna be twenty-one. Oh, you gamer, 21? little gamer girl. 
It was a gamer girl. Confirms. Uh, okay. So the rest, so all of you who are not Valentine, you guys look at each other. You're like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't hear anything. You're like, are you sure? Um, Valentine, you're listening. You hear what sounds like the creaking of heavy footsteps, just barely inside. Yeah. I mean, just barely, because reminder, you guys are listening for sounds inside of a house, and you're about eighty feet outside of the house. Yeah. Are there yeah. any animals nearby? Yeah, there are wolves in the oh. uh, woods behind you. Yes, they are. The wolves chasing yeah, us. Yeah, I both. I'm in like yeah, a squirrel in a tree somewhere. You're uh, <laughs> trying to get then trying to get a friend. You wanna? <laughs> you wanna look for a squirrel in a tree? Yes, because I have to. Because I have to speak with animals. Okay. Roll. Roll investigation. See if you can find I, a love, I love that there's a monster chasing a kid and Dead's like, where's the squirrels? At? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Just from a three. Um, okay, I know, so you walk... I, was gonna... I know, I know you you're going for. Like, okay, there's got to be some wildlife here. Uh, you see, you see what you see a, a squirrel kind of on a branch, kind of like looking at you curiously. Okay, can I can I use my speak with animal spell? Yeah, sure. Okay, do I roll anything for that? Uh. Uh, no, you just cast a spell and you can speak with animals. Okay. But you're gonna expend a spell. Remember to expend the spell slot. Unless, if, unless it is, yeah. It's either a spell so, slot. Or then, so, with spells, you get so many a day. Cantrips are unlimited a day. Just so yeah, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad time free. for you to use this. You do whatever you want with your spells. But you only get so many a day. Yeah, spells like. Yeah, like for you, you have two first level spell slots. So, with speak with animals, just click cast. And it should automatically mark off a spell slot. But then you have one more spell, one more first level spell you can cast for and the rest of that for the rest so of the day. I yeah, wasn't no, telling you that. Yes, yeah, I was, no, 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 hold on. I wasn't telling you that not to use it. That's why we gave you. That's why we it's, gave you vicious mockery. Like you're good. Like you can use the spell yeah, slot. Yeah, but here. I don't want to. I don't want to potentially. I mean, what's your other spell slot? I cure wounds. Oh, okay. I yeah. mean, I guess that is that's good. Just, <clears throat> that's something to remember because cantrips you can just throw around all day. First, like with sp spells that consume spell slots. You can only throw use them as the amount of times you have spell slots. When we level, you up, level you'll up, you'll get so get many. Like first level spells, yeah. second level spells, third level spells. But what here? I'm just gonna explain this now. As this works, when you get second level spells, if it's a spell that specifically says second level spell, you can only cast a second level spell through a second level spell slot or higher. You can always take a smaller spell and cat and cast it through a bigger mm -hmm. slot. Yeah. And get more from it, but you can never you can never go down. It's like taking another analogy. It's like you could theoretically fire a smaller bullet through a bigger chamber, but you can't fire a bigger bullet through a smaller chamber. Dang, that just okay. Then I'm my going world. to then I'm going to give the squirrel a subtle head nod and go about pow my business. <laughs> the squirrel does not move. You see, it's like looking oh. at you, but it hasn't moved. It hasn't moved a single inch. Okay, I flip you it can off. Play it's Game weird. Boy Color games on a Game Boy Advance, but you can't play Game Boy yeah. Advance. A Game Boy Color. Oh, this man speaking <laughs> another, my language. Another one. <laughs> okay. You flip what? off the scroll and you watch it fall over on its side. I was about to say, can I? <laughs> so okay. So Did he accidentally use vicious that's... mockery oh. by flipping it? Off? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Scroll I killed the squirrel. Wait, <laughs> I think you okay, killed the squirrel. Is he using vicious mockery on a squirrel? I was say, Did you no. use vicious mockery on accident? He just he just, just found a. Like, Hey, what's he, up? Found a, he found a squirrel that was dead where it was standing and just petrified onto the branch. As okay. I slowly, as I slowly put the pistol back in my holster. <laughs> where did he get a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Who gave the turtle a gun? <laughs> Master Uguay knows everything. He's got it all. Wow. He just, and so just suddenly appears with a gun. All right, yeah. So. Yes, yeah, so you can't. You hear so, Valentine. You hear some footsteps in the house, but you can't really tell what it is. You can tell it's big, but that's about it. Okay. I look to the children, and you said there's a boy and a girl. Yes, there is a boy and a girl. The uh, okay. the boy is kind of wearing this big, thick uh, fur coat with like very elegant embroidery around it. He's clutching a small doll, and he's got like his hood pulled up over his head. The girl, she's maybe in her early teens wearing a very elegant kind of like long coat with high boots. And she's got this beautiful like red velvet like cloak slash like kind of cape with gold embroidery, like jewelry Are kind of connected the kids from too. a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> kind of. And she's so kind of so like, we're dealing with this... Russians. 
Yeah, and she's kind of got she's got this mess of dark uh of like dark hair that's kind of tossed and pushed off to the side. And she they're just sitting there kind of staring at you waiting for like trying to see what you guys are I going say, to do. Okay, yeah. I I kind of get down on their level and I say there's nothing to worry about. What are your names? She uh, looks, she looks, she goes, uh, my name is Rose Durst, and this is my brother, Thorn Durst. One of us is going to stay outside here with you, and the rest of us will go inside and we'll take care of that mom and rescue your brother. But wouldn't it be better if all of you go inside? But there are wolves out here. It wouldn't be safe to leave you out here alone. We will wait on the porch. The wolves don't like to come up to the porch. It's very well. Might be, it might be safer for all of you to go in there. The monster is very big. Okay. Um, let me think for a minute here. Does anyone in the party have a familiar? Uh, no. What does that mean? Uh, no, I don't think. <laughs> Does that, does anyone have a pet or anything like I mean, that? No. I mean, Larry has uh, has Clefairis, so they're kind of <laughs> no, no, not Larry. Oh, wait, I guess I do have Clefairis, huh? I'm a turtle. <laughs> I'm a big turtle with a gun, apparently. <laughs> Petrified squirrels. Clefairis uses Glocky Walkie. <laughs> Glocky Walkie nine thousand. Uh, no, no, uh, Valentine, no. I chime in and ask the kids if they know what the monster is and looks like. She goes, we did. We have not seen the monster. It's we know it's big, judging by how it sounds. But we ran out of the house as soon as we heard it. Our mother took our brother into the basement, and that's the last we've seen them. Where's Did your you father? Children? One of Go you. ahead. Go ahead. Uh, where's your Where's me. your father? Uh, he had left uh, to go went to town. We did not see him when we came out. We heard he ran into town to grab some supplies, but that was the last we heard of him. And just for future reference, where is this town? Uh, she kind of gestures off into the distance. I I messed up last time when I like was narrating things, but we're to keep it that way. She gestures that way to where you see like the uh, big like the kind of the big wall in the distance. She goes, "It's just on the uh, couple of miles on the other side of that." gate over there. Hmm. Valentine, what were you saying where everyone else is uh Do they appear to be in good health or Yeah, they appear to be perfectly healthy. Like they don't look no signs of like neglect or anything. Nope. They don't look emaciated. They don't look sick or anything. No signs of neglect. No like nothing like that. They look perfectly healthy. And All this is considered. a reputable family, right? Yeah, this is a very reputable family. They're a big tra They're a big uh, trading hub in the vicinity, which you would know. And I'm sorry, one more thing. What was their last name again? Durst. D Durst. U R S T, yeah. like Fred Durst from yeah. that one band. Fred Durst from that one band. God, that narrows it down, honestly. <laughs> I, I think we need to start. Uh... Moving in, we're 80 feet out. I think we need to start moving in before this thing okay. starts attacking the other kid. I mean, these, these kids said... Walk in, I... Go ahead. I was going to say, these kids said it's safe for them to sit on the porch from the wolves, and so that's one less thing we have to worry about. Right now, the wolves are... You know, they can still be approaching us. I think we need to start moving. I jump back onto Thud's shoulder. Thud. Thud. Thud with a V. Thud, Thud. I jump back onto Thud's shoulders. Sorry, still a little bit of high. Still a little bit high. Still in my system a little bit. <laughs> Anybody can um, wear that berry juice? You know, the thing with Clefairis, make a acrobatics check and oh, Bud, make a, a strength check. <laughs> you are a six foot tall turtle. I'm. I. I, I, I that was the detail I missed. That was that's my bad. You said you're four foot twenty four. That's that. basically six foot. <laughs> <laughs> twenty four. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I rolled a one, but now that we know I'm shorter, does that matter? I mean, I rolled uh, a thirteen or eleven plus two. Uh, you should make it matter for the it, for uh, one time for the one time. <laughs> make it matter because it was a one, dude. The what? The, <laughs> you gotta make the, the one, one count. The you, one. As you you go to start like clambering up Vud's arm inside, and he, you just can't quite pull up there. And Vud, you're just like your arm is being like dragged out by this turtle, kind of. But still up, walking you though. Lift him up and just throw him on top of your shoulder, and he's kind of. Very unceremoniously, there. He just throws me. I hit the wall. I die. That's <laughs> fun, guys. That's what I'm saying. You roll a one. You get the shrimp bounty. So the so the Ron Gronkowski slams me into the ground. Yeah. Just starts throwing turtle shells at people. <laughs> Call me Koopa Troopa. So you guys, uh, you guys are approaching the manor. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. I think we're on. Slowly walking. In. Okay. Except for that poidal guy. Fuck you. Freaking title. <laughs> so, I like your feet. You guys approach and you walk in and they're into the... Um, it's, like, it's like a very big kind of like porch area that wraps around a port, like a good portion of the of the house walking up to the door. Can I, before uh, we get is... to the door, can I have Mage Hand? Like before we get to the porch, have Mage Hand ahead of me open the door just to make sure there's not some kind of, I don't know, like trap okay. waiting for us. Okay, you summon your mage hand, and when it is normally like a what was it, a teal blue. or cerulean? It was like a like a normally light blue. What is normally a blue, very vibrant hand? You watch as like the earth kind of like breaks and breaks apart in front of you, and this large skeletal hand, cloaked in a faint blue, a purple aura, rises from the ground and starts floating in front of you. Huh? I just, I just go huh, and I open the door with the mage hand. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, weird, weird question. With my guy, like the the basis of my guy is him being like intelligent, like seeing a bunch of different things and learning a bunch of different things. Do am I able to like? Do I know what that is? Like, have I heard? Do I know what you've that, seen like, it? Uh, going on? You've seen it in the hotel. Remember, like when we uh, did it through you're... the, like, in the mist. <clears throat> I did it. Like, and it the went mist. to you, and I also yeah, use familiar... it to knock behind you. You're familiar with like the spell because you've seen him use it before, but. Uh, make me an Arcana check. Twelve. You're not quite sure what would cause this. Oh. Why, why, why it looks different now, other than maybe the spellcaster's own choice. Uh, am, I, am, I, am I able to keep an eye on that try, guy? I'm able to try to, like, climb up to, like, the second story and look in the window and see if I can see anything. Oh. Mm -hmm. Airbender boy is going up. A roundhouse kicked the window. We can get him up here. Um, make me a. There's no like, real like, perches on up on the second level. It's just like there's not like the window's gonna open up and you're gonna try and like, shimmy up there. Make a acrobatics check. You need Nimbus. Uh, nineteen. But yip yip, man's got hops. It takes you a yeah. moment to try and get to try and get some handholds. You kind of, you part you kind of shimmy your way up. Difficult. It's gonna take you like, oh, like five to ten minutes to pull up, and you're like hanging on some of like the second story windows. They they're kind of flush with the building, and they have like this ornate iron like lattice work kind of going in front of them. And you're sitting there, and you can tell the windows are gonna are push outward. So they are like this, and they're gonna push open like that. Do I have time to do a quick walk around the house, or are the wolves too close? Uh, the wolves have not approached you, and it's it's gonna take him like it takes him like ten minutes to like get up there. So you have time to do a walk around the house. Yeah, while he's doing that, I'm gonna do a walk around the outside of the house and see if I notice anything, like maybe like a cellar door or like a broken window, or glare into each window and see if I see like the monster itself. Okay, roll perception check. Bud. Yeah. I think Vud goes with him, you know, since he's already on my shoulder. Uh, I just point over there. Five, <laughs> okay. okay, so if uh, for those of you two who are walking around, either if you're if you're both going to be looking around, either each of you can make a perception check, or one of you can assist the other, and the other can roll with advantage. Uh, do we roll with advantage? You want to roll with advantage, Vud? Yeah, because Vud knows smart. Okay, is it just advantage of one? Uh, the advantage is you roll twice and take the higher roll. Oh, okay. Yeah, so 
19 for the second no 20 for the second roll nice because your first one was all five <laughs> yeah so the first okay. one the first one was fun <laughs> okay so as you're and we'll get to we'll get to what you find walking around the house all right so so jimothy you call you kind of scale up to the second story it takes you a moment you're kind of clinging on to like some of this iron lattice work uh, is your plan to try and open the windows and then shimmy inside, or what are you planning to do? Are you just trying to peer inside the windows? Uh, just, just trying to peer inside, see, see if I can see anything. Okay. Would you go for the middle window, the right window, or the left window? Mm -hmm. I go for the middle window. The middle window? Okay. Um, you see what looks like a very... I'm just trying to make sure I'm describing the right thing to you. Uh, it looks at what looks like almost like a Hi, the, the the foyer the foyer the middle floor. You see what looks like four suits of armor next D &D. to two doors and a spiral staircase that is going up. The looks pretty well kept inside this house. The the stairway has like kind of like this red, uh, very elegant carpeting that goes up it. Everything else is kind of hard wood, well kept. You don't see. A lot of age or wear to it. Hmm. Nothing really out of okay. the ordinary. Uh, I guess I guess I jump down and I tell everyone that it looks pretty nice inside. <laughs> so, so that's happening. <laughs> Clefaris and Bud, you guys are walking around the outside of the home, and you see very much the woods kind of are don't creep up to the edge of this home. They kind of stop maybe. Uh, 80 or 90 feet away, and there's kind of this nice kind of grassy area in front of it, but a lot of, like, the shrubbery isn't quite growing. It looks kind of like it's just dead. It's left there. Uh, as you guys are walk as you guys are kind of moving around, Clefairis, you do hear what sounds like kind of a snapping underneath Vud's feet, and it doesn't sound like a twig or, like, a stick of any kind. I look down to see what he's stepping on as well as I go, hey, Ulf, what are you stepping on? As you, as you kind of say that and you kind of push gesture Vud together, you find what looks like the cracked remains of a human skull. Oh. I was going to say it was a cat. Stupid cat. <laughs> Stupid cat. <laughs> oh. hmm. Is there anything noteworthy to like investigate on? I mean, like it's just a cracked skull. I mean, it looks like a skull that would have been a little bit more intact until Vud stepped on it. So it's been there it. for a minute. It's not it's, like it, it's been there for a little while. All right. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna choose to. I mean, just keep walking. Yeah, okay. I think so. We just kind of like note it. Okay. As you walk away, you notice like the only last thing you pick up on is that you can clearly tell. It's especially you, Vud, just kind of instinctively, and Clefairis, you kind of pick up on it with that, with your high perception roll. Uh, there's not a lot of wildlife that's been approaching here. Not a lot of, like, what would be kind of coming towards just any kind of house in the woods. It's fairly, besides the wolves that were pursuing you, nothing. It's quiet. There's no sound. Not even insects. It's just the only sound you pick up is the sound of maybe your companions in the front and the wind in the trees. I look at Vud and I say, let's keep an eye out on the kids and let's get that. Let's ask about the, where the dad went later on and see, see if the story stays the same. Roll me one last perception check. Yep. Both of you this time. 18 or 19. Mm-hmm. Three. That sounds like a VOD roll, yeah. <laughs> uh, he says all of his good Clefaris, rolls for strength. Clefaris, you, for just a second, as you're going to turn and start making your way back up front, for just a second, you swear, you see, like, a figure standing amongst the fog, amongst the mist at the edge of the tree line, watching you for just a moment. Like, it's kind of, you look up from the skull, look around, and you're, like, going to turn and start walking away, and you just catch a glimpse of it out of the corner of your eye. But then when you look back to do a double take, there's nothing there. And you just see what looks like the fluttering of some kind of a 
flight about like flighted bir like birds or something. Bro, I'm gonna poop my pants. In that area. Gotcha. <clears throat> well, you guys know my legs are shaking. You actually have to go to the bathroom. Is that no? This, okay. Well, nope. you said poop this my pants. So I was like, uh, oh, I'm gonna poop my I pants just... on this campaign at some point. <laughs> Gonna if, if history is correct. If history is correct, which it is. Sure. I am crapping my pants. Right. So you guys make your way back around to the front of the house as mm -hmm. at around this time, it's the same time that Jimothy's kind of like detaching himself from the front window and kind of landing down, kind of three point superhero landing in front of everyone. Dang. It's kinda hot. I'll take it. Spoiler <laughs> man. I'll accept. I'll allow so, it. I'll allow it. Uh, I think that's what it is. I'll allow it. <laughs> This is catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> you guys reconvene the front of the, the front of the manor. For those of you who were wait, kind of waiting for Jimothy to finish his investigation on the upper window and for Clefairis and Bud to come back around, Larry and Valentine, what would you guys be doing? Uh, I would be. <laughs> so Unless if, you're just if, waiting. Yeah, I was gonna option. wait. I wouldn't open the door yet if they weren't with us, and I would just yeah. be, I guess. You know, just looking, watching over our back because I know you said the wolves aren't going to be here for a while, but I would just continue to be looking over our back to just to make sure that they're not progressing faster than what we anticipated. And also, I guess, like, you know, making sure I don't hear, like, anything coming, like, from the, like, the other side of the door. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I would wait till make the door. Valentine? Oh, wait, are so, we in the house, or is only one person in the house? Right, right now, no, no one's in the house. You and I are on the porch. No, one, no one's in the okay. house. Valentine, you and Larry are stand, are sitting on the porch. With the kids, uh, right? Uh, Jimothy's scaled up to the second window, to, second story window to kind of peer inside. And Clefairis and Vud have done a lap around the house just to kind of check for... Oh, they went around it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. they just took a lap around the house just to kind of check the perimeter. So they stepped on a skull outside, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was outside. My bad. I wonder whose skull that was. Um. Yeah, I am going to wait for everyone to come back as well, just kind of like keeping them. Okay. So mm. about 10 I'm... minutes go by. What, what's that? Oh, I, I'm wait. I have something to say when we actually reconvene with the okay. group. Yeah, so the 10 minutes go by and you guys all kind of reconvene and share your findings and then you can say what you uh, want to say. I uh, I take Valentine like over to the side and I and uh as I'm talking to him, I'm like so you you think you know the father of of, of this family? Well, it would be more accurate to say that I know of him. I don't know him personally though. Okay. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Can you guys can hear me, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Just checking because last time I know there was issues. <clears throat> no, you sound perfectly fine. And so you haven't and handsome. met him at all. No, but he is a man of summer right now. Okay. And then I, I, I like we like move back into the group. I climb by. He's, a, he's a rich merchant, right? Yeah, you know, this is a, this is a merchant family. Mm. You would know because your family's business has done has made has has made trades with him and to yeah to distribute and whatnot. Okay. Climb okay. back up. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, for all here, I would like to use my mage hand now, and uh, I would like to say like we should open all the door. back up a couple steps just in case. I'm just gonna use my I'm gonna use the hand to open the door just to make sure there's not some kind of a trap waiting for us on the other side, and just hope everyone backs up a couple steps. And then when slash if they do, I would use the mage hand to open the door. Okay, so you uh, open the door, and you're kind of. Standing in what appears to be a foyer, foyer with, uh, it looks like there are shields with kind of a coat of arms on it, and that is a stylized golden windmill on a red field. And you see there are kind of paintings of kind of like stony-faced aristocrats on the wall, 
And just ahead of you are, is two well-made, well-crafted, mahogany-framed double doors. Well, does anyone want to go on first? And I'm, like, looking at Vud, the tank. Vud, go through door. <laughs> so we're uh, in a foyer, and there's yeah. just closed double doors, so, like... Yeah, so you kind of step into the shop. This is kind of like would be, like... Kind of be like okay, so like the like visitors would like come up on the porch, come in this door, kind of maybe hang, put their coats up here or like, and then it's kind of a oh, way for visitors like, to come in. Is this mm -hmm. set up like the? Uh, this is kind of a weird reference, but in Skyrim, when you make your house hard fire, mm -hmm. the hard fire expansion, is it like that where like you walk into a room before you walk into the house? Yes, <clears throat> it's like a room for like visitors who are like coming in and like before they're let before they're let into the actual home. This is kind of just a room for them to come in and actually like knock or like announce their presence and get out of like any kind of bad weather in the area. And it's then like a mudroom, like, okay. like a, yeah. like a mudroom or sudroom. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, definitely. It's it's more of akin to like kind of like a closed in porch, but it's like an actual like room. Okay, I see. All right, thank you. Yeah, so, and so, those are the only doors. That's like the only way to go. Yep, the only doors are these two double doors right ahead of you. Okay. Three D, why are you like sunk into your sweatshirt right now? <laughs> it's comfy. I'm, I'm, uh, shut up. <laughs> right, what's I'll, the? What's... I'll go open the door. Are you will. <laughs> I'll be first. Okay. So, as you um, open the door, you are you are stepping into a wide hallway. It's it's probably it's about ten it's about ten twelve ten feet wide. Uh, you see a black marble fireplace at one end. Wait, I think I'm reading the wrong area. Give me a second. Let me confirm this. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of like the same thing. You kind of step in, and this is kind of a little bit more well furnished of an area. Not have the fireplace. It's just <laughs> more of the kind of the same, but it's less of like kind of the porch area. There's more paintings as you step in the, the hallway goes for about 15 feet and there's like hoil there's like more there's more lamp there's like there's actually lamps in here that are lit and there's another set of doors at the end which are open already and you guys continue or do you want to stop and look at any of the things in this room real quick before we do Trevor, my magical tinkering says imbue a tiny non-magical object with magical property of your choice. I don't know what imbue means. What does that mean? Uh, say you pick up like a, a coin, you can cast light. It means light on. like bestow. It means yeah. like to give. To put so can I do that? So can I do that three times a day? It says because I have like huh? three sticks. So can I cast yep. any spell or only the spells I know? I think it's only the spells you know, but there might okay. be that also. Makes sense. I was just curious. I'm sorry for cutting it off. No, it's okay. It might also, with being an artificer, because I am in a I mean, I can read you what it says real quick, it, like, because it's, it's a, a little bit of a paragraph. It says, imbue a tiny, non-magical object with a magical property of your choice. Five-foot radius light, up to six seconds long recorded message, emit doors or non-verbal sounds, static visual those effects. Are the, so those are the ones I can choose? Those, Thank those, you, yeah, those, yeah, those are the effects you can choose. Okay, so That's I can do sure I light, or I can do a six-second long recorded message. So how long would that recorded yeah. message stay there? Like forever, because it's in the it's item a, now, so it's like forever, basically. Yeah, it's in it's it's in the it's in the item, yeah. And then emit doors or nonverbal sounds. Is that just like I'm just mm -hmm. I can make like a sound like come out of nowhere, basically? Yeah. Locky, so like you can like you can touch it. You could like you can just like for the sake of it make a put a dog's bark in it and just toss it down a hallway i thought so i'm sorry okay i didn't i just didn't know if this would come in handy like right now so in that case i'm going it, to is it yeah like you could use them like you could cast light on them and like toss it like it's like kind of it's like it's like you cast light on it and toss it in a dark room and it'll light up the room okay so i'm gonna look for if i can while we're in this room i'm gonna look for just some kind of a small object like a pen or pencil or you know feather like literally anything well, I mean, small we could say there's like be like you can well, so you have probably have just like bits of knickknacks carried on you just for this purpose okay in that case i'm gonna cat i'm gonna oh, do wow. that i'm gonna cast light on like some like i don't know do i have like a stick i guess just something i can throw away like yeah, i don't yeah, care about like a, little, like, a, like a small little like, like metal a small pebble something. even is yeah, a small yeah, pebble like, like in yeah. my pocket yeah i'm gonna put light on it and just 
carry it carry it around with us in case it wait, does wait, get dark wait, soon. Wait, don't don't don't. Remember, I have a cantrip of dancing lights. I know, but What's that is off? like they're, flickering. They're... This is something that I like. This doesn't even take a spell slot from me. It's like a it's there like a bonus. Oil lamps in this room. I know, but I'm just curious mm -hmm. if it's gonna get dark later. I want this to be like mm -hmm. at the ready. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So, so you just gotta keep. If we get separated. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and use take one of the many pebbles out of my pocket, and just put light on it, and then I'm gonna ask this like, I mean, I actually now I'm just gonna save. I'm just gonna do the one. I'm just gonna do the one, just in case we get split up. I'm just gonna hold it in my offhand. Actually, yeah. I kind of, I actually that kind of made me think of some. I'm gonna cast dancing lights because it gives me four torches, and I'm gonna make one torch stay in here to mark that we've been in this room. Ooh. Okay. Fancy. I like that. All right. So. Ooh. Do they have one of the torches? Are your are your uh, lights any color that you wish them to be, or just make them red, white, and blue? We're going to do green mm -hmm. on the outers with a dark blue on the inners, for like okay. the, the, that way they're okay. very distinguished. Okay, so you form uh, you, a uh, dark light. <laughs> you uh, for, you you conjure forth these globules of light, and they are lighting up the room. You push, put one in place, and. Uh, do you guys keep the same marching order moving into the next room? What's the current marching order? It's uh, Valentine okay. first, and then who? Valentine. Bud, yep. you want you want to be next, like behind Valentine? Yeah, probably, probably. Sure. Yes. And Isco then Flares. is is Flair still on my shoulder or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> Jimothy, do you want to be last, you. or do you want me to be? I can be last since I have the light. So I'll, I'll go last. I'll let Jimothy go ahead. Yeah, of me. That, that'll kind of help. But yeah, I'll, I'll kind of be like, like. Not necessarily like too far in front of you, we're kind of be like someone next to each other. There's just yeah. three torches hovering right. above on the Since you have, okay, so since you have a light in the offhand, I can do whatever. And I'm I assuming this is a pretty bright light. Like, if I cast light into it, mm -hmm. like, it's very obvious if I get dragged away from behind. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Yes. So, it's, so, it's going to go Valentine, Vud, and Clefaris, and then Jimothy, and then Larry. Yep. So, we're not really in a single file line. No, like there's enough room that you guys don't have to be single file. Right. Like, you can you can move in pairs if you wanted to. Like okay. there's enough room to walk side by side. <laughs> it's just it's mostly for me so I can I'll be understand like, like, and get on who's right, kind right. of moving into rooms first. Larry. All right. So you guys move into the second room, and this is kind of like the room that I accidentally started describing. It is definitely it's a white hall, and it it's about fifty. <clears throat> you see, it keeps going to about fifteen feet in front of you. And continues about thirty feet to your right, till you see a the spi a spiral staircase going up. <clears throat> a black marble uh, fireplace is to your immediate left. There is a small fire going above the fireplace. You see a you see <clears throat> two crossed long swords and what looks like a red windmill into like and like kind of emblazoned on the wall. There are there is another door about ten feet to your right, just before the stairs, and in front of you, you can immediately see fifteen feet in front of you is two doors, and then you can see what looks like another kind of hallway going just before the stairs with another door on the on in that hallway. Um, I want to make a perception check and listen for the mom. Okay. <clears throat> You're looking for the, the mom or the monster? The monster. Okay. The, I, wait, there's supposed to be a mom here, too? They did say, you said mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, they did say their, ba their mother took their, took their baby brother into the basement, and that's when the monster attacked. Oh, crap. So we're, we're looking for stairs down. Yeah, and see, these stairs do not go down. They only go up. Can I make them go down? <laughs> Can oh, I air bend them to go down? <laughs> what if you want to drop kick them to it? <laughs> put a hole in the floor. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, well, yeah, I'd still like the. Yeah, I did say you could. Yeah, yeah. I, that was Valentine. waiting for you to roll your perception check. Valentine. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Valentine. 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 Natural twenty. Okay. Six. Six. 
team, please? <laughs> team. <laughs> okay. Well, so you have oh, wait, no, I have I have advantage. Yeah. That's a constant. Ooh, okay. Boy. Hey, and thanks for learning the man. That's 23. <laughs> you know, oh. Better than 23? 24. Um. <clears throat> okay, you, uh, you're you listening, and you're kind of straining your ears, trying to get past like the sounds of your kind of roommates moving, yeah, your roommates, your teammates moving into the room. And besides like the creaking of like the house, you can hear what sounds like the faint moving of something big underneath the floor. Okay. Underneath the floor, but, but I... And don't just, have like a direction? Or... You don't have a direction. It's You can tell it's coming from underneath the floor. It sounds like it's a ways down because you're getting the bits of an echo. Mm -hmm. And okay. you also, mm -hmm. just for a brief second, pick up the sounds of what sounds like something heavy kind of landing on the roof. And we leave the oh. house. <laughs> and we all just cry. Like, just like it's, you almost don't notice it, but then you hear a, like just a very, all, it would have been if you like it. Uh, you just barely hit this number. You hear a soft doo -doo Oh crap! Something on the roof. That doesn't ha sound like uh, something. Something happy. <laughs> <clears throat> what does a happy landing sound like? Uh, <laughs> well, there is there is no happy landing. Like I don't know. Maybe unless like Santa Claus's reindeer or something. Maybe. Yeah, if you hear the jingle bells with the landing, you're pretty good to go. But otherwise, <laughs> everything else is bad. It's Futurama Santa, though. I didn't so know you people. guys are all kind of moving into this room. You guys stop as Valentine kind of like stops for a second and kind of like cranes. Like, looks like he's kind of stops and is just listening. What are the. And, and what, what are you guys doing? Uh, so, do I know what he hears? Does he like tell us? Well, we know. I was about to say that we know uh, the kids yeah. told us that the mom took the kid down to the basement so i'm looking for a basement so i'm gonna suggest that we go through those doors and not up the steps and does anyone is there a chance i can just blow a hole through the floor and then i don't know if you want to do that necessarily yeah but we can just open the door yeah, we're gonna go <laughs> we can just open the door and see if there's stairs on the other side first before we just what if i'm trying to be tactical there's or nothing tactical about go. destroying a home. Yeah, there's no stealth at all. He's just blowing a hole, hole in the floor. I am going to look I'm at him. like a small hole. I'm like gonna... a small little, like a, yeah, like a tickle finger like... that I just go. Boop. I'm going to look at Jimothy, raise an eyebrow, like, huh. And then we use my mage <laughs> hand and favorite... open the double doors, like, and look to see if anyone is against that idea. Like, slowly move the mage hand, and if no one's against it, then I will open the the doors in front of us. Which which door are you going for? Because there's, a, there's uh, two doors. There's space. There's, like... There's like five feet in between the two doors, so the doors the doors in front of you are gonna lead to two different rooms. Oh, what do we think, team? Valentine. Uh, Vud, Vud doesn't think. Yeah, there's Valentine. Also, there's also there's also a door, ten feet away from the doors you just came in to the right, and there oh, looks crap. like there might be a hallway and two additional doors to the left of the <clears throat> stairs. Well, the biggest thing is we don't split up. I'm looking at Valentine. Valentine. Let's go to the right. To the right. I'm going to go to the one Valentine points to. To the immediate right behind you? Yeah, I'm just taking a wild, like, wild guess. I'll take wild okay. guess. I take that. I'll allow it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Valentine, you, are you going to be the first one moving through the doors? Or? I'm going to mage hand open it. Yeah. I'm going to mage hand open it. Like, before we get there, just once again, make sure there's no traits. Okay. The skeletal hand reaches out, yep. grabs the door, just, and uh, the door opens. I send her one of my torches. You see a oaked paneled room, kind of resembling a hunter's den. Uh, just Valentine like... died in oh, no. end game. Valentine. He just died. We opened the door and Valentine. now he's dead. He just he just. Oh, he's back he's alive. We thought you died. I thought I opened the door and you died, Valentine. There was a claymore behind the door. <laughs> was a yeah. claymore and Valentine Sorry. ran I, in. I, I, Literally, my thing decided to like kick me out for some random reason. It's, he's like, you grab the door and you open it, and and, then and you're dead. Me. <laughs> Valentine walk in with some bitch with dual diamantes in the corner. So you guys step in. It looks like it's a hut. It appears to be. A hunter's den. There are padded chairs draped in animal furs, an oak table in between them with a cask of wine on top of it with gobble. You see some well-made goblets on the table. There's a 
there's a candelabrum in the middle in the middle of the table with a on top of a nice cloth sheet. There's a pipe rack with several pipes in it, and mounted on this wall are wolves' heads. Mm. And above mm. in the fireplace is another wolf's wolf's head that is easily about. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, the proper word circumference. It's about if you would trace the entire like out like yeah, the, circumference uh, circumference yeah. circumference <clears throat> around the wolf's head. It's probably ten to thirteen feet around. <laughs> It is massive. Figured out why they figured out why the wolf so won't like come to the porch. <laughs> three times as big as a normal wolf. Yeah. It's a fatty, huh? Yo, that's the kind of dog Vud can ride into battle with. Maybe more, actually. Yeah, it Not is mounted on, it's, it is mounted above this fireplace. So you're telling me this bitch killed Fenrir. <laughs> yeah, is there other, no, like another door? Is brother, I'm so, like, yeah. uh, is there Fenrir's is there any way that we can like bigger. look under uh is there any way that we could look under like uh carpets or anything? See if there's any like secret There's no carpet. It's just an it's just it's an mm. open paneled floor. Everything oh, okay. So there's there's no like secret like little doors on the ground or anything. Would you like to look for one? Yes. Tig is open a cutie, you actually right. See over there likes in the chat room. There are uh, also 16. two cabinets Ooh. against one of the walls. What'd you say? Sixteen. Sixteen? If you're looking around, you don't find any uh <clears throat> secret doors along the ground but you uh do see a uh you just look around you open like and then you just just the only thing you can find in this room besides the table and what's on the table are just these two cabinets hmm. can i open the cabinets yep. inside. yeah uh you open uh, you gotta open the cabinet and there's a there pat there's a padlock on one of the cabinets the other one, the other one's open. You, you open the cabinet that isn't unlocked, that doesn't have a lock on it, and you see an assortment of very well made and well decorated wine glasses, and what and a small wooden box. Okay, uh, I open up the box. See what's inside. Okay, inside the box is a deck of playing cards. I don't know. Okay. Um... Can I try to go to the lock cabinet and try to break the lock off? Um, yeah, make me a um, strength check. Rudy. Mm -hmm. Don't let me forget I'm taking one of those wolf pelts. <laughs> <laughs> I got a zero. Just a turtle trying to stretch that around his shell. <laughs> Hey, I have I have thieves out. tools. In thieves tools, can I try to pick the lock? I, I literally am a rogue. Yeah, oh, I, okay. I got, I got okay, there we go. Then why did you make me roll a zero? I was looking to see if <laughs> so I had thieves tools or not. What 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 was your roll? A zero. zero. Oh, okay. close. You're just, you're, 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 you're broke your hand. Your you're just you're just not strong enough to break this lock. Okay. Look. Try roundhouse kicking it. At this point, Valentine says we could sit here and try and go and snoop around a mm. good man's home, or we could just go ask the children for some directions around the house so that we could save the family. Good point. Let's roll, Smart man. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a good man. Let's roll. <clears throat> so are we just gonna leave the cabinet that's locked alone. We don't need that dirty little cabinet. Valentine's right. Valentine's right. I'm kind of curious on what's inside. There's a monster killing a kid downstairs. But it's locked for a reason. Maybe there's a weapon in there. That... What if it's his diary? Yeah. Valentine oh knows of the. Kill the monster, Valentine knows Maybe. of this family, the and they're a good family. I start Their walking back out to the front porch. With my family, I don't know them personally, but I don't feel good about searching through some other man's home. I'd like to take one final long. look around the room. Okay. Just to roll, make sure. Uh, roll an investigation check. The people Four in Barovia, we, we depend on each other. We need to trust each other, and I won't break that trust. Let it be known. This is the first time you guys have heard that word. Barovia. So I don't think you guys covered that last time. Nope. But, uh, we're a little four. four. Nothing. Nothing. Just All right, let's cabinet. head back to the kids. I say, and I start to start to gesture. Who knows what could be inside? Copy a diary, <laughs> or snot rags. <laughs> okay, so you got who's making their way to the front door to find the kids? Me. Valentine. 
Okay. All right, so the two of you make your way to the front door, uh, moving through the three previous rooms. As you uh, <clears throat> get into the front door, and you kind of step out onto like the, the porch, you're looking around, <clears throat> you roll me a perception check. Wait, was the torch still there in that one room? Yeah, the torches are still there. Okay, perception check. Okay, yeah. and we're in which room? Uh, this is like, like on the like uh, the outside of the home, like on the porch where you left the kids. Oh, okay. I rolled the seventeen. Same. Okay. You guys look around. At first, you don't see Rose and Thorn until you look down and you see them like underneath the boards of the porch, and they look up and you guys <clears> kind of look look at each other and they're like, oh. so they're they're shushing you. Oh, I look up. You look up, and you guys see what is a massive bat, maybe 15 feet tall, just kind of sitting on top of the house, just kind of staring down at the front porch. Oh, I forgot something leaning on the roof. Like, oh, it, like it, doesn't, it doesn't react. It's just kind of perched on the side, just like on the roof, kind of looking down, just staring directly at you. Oh, crap. I usher towards the kid, like, I motion towards the kids to like, <clears throat> come with us. Like, inside. They're, they you notice, because it's still, like, underneath the porch, they would have to come out in front and then climb back on top of the porch. They're just like... <laughs> like, nah, ja, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I look so... at Valentine and say, I can try to hit this bat to give them time to come in. And I, like, ready my hand for a firebolt. <clears throat> Maybe can you create a distraction to get it to fly away? Oh, yeah, I can. Breath. So I take another one of my pebbles and I hold on. Let me find it real quick. Uh, I find I take one of my pebbles and I'm going to put a sound of like, like, a I don't want to do a wolf barking. I want to do like a sound of just like a lightning strike into the pebble. And I just want to throw it as far as I can, like out of the porch, like it's just as far as my tiny little Let's see what my strength is. Eight strength can throw it. Or actually, Wait, I throw. I hand it to Valentine and I say, "Can you throw this pebble? It'll make a huge, ex like, explosive sound as far as you can throw it." What kind of? A lightning sound. Like a sound of like Do a I thunder clash. Huh? Um. Do you have no reason to believe why it couldn't work? Can you change the sound? Yeah, yeah, I can do whatever sound you want. What sound do you want, Valentine? Just thinking. Uh, Anything nonverbal. Like a like. Can you do a? I'm slipping out of my. Head. <laughs> can you make it sound like a woman screaming? It has to be nonverbal. Also, a bad that, Does that count as nonverbal? If it's like a screaming, uh, yeah. Like a shriek. Wow. You allow it. Allow All right, it. I do it. Yeah, I say yes, and then I hand you the. That's cool. I hand you the it. pebble, the rock. If it, okay. if a bat uses that Screaming location, pebble. know it's the pebble that the sound is coming from. Not necessarily. We have no it's idea. There's only one way to find pebble. out. If if you hear, if you think about it, the sound of the shriek would definitely be louder than the sound of a pebble hitting the like you know the, the ground. Of, yeah. All right, so I hand Valentine yeah, the pebble. Okay. <clears throat> um, so I'll go ahead and just give it a toss, I guess, like, like out away from the. Give it like a Tom Brady, just won a seventh Super Bowl ring kind of a throw. Am, am I going to have to mm -hmm. roll for this or? Uh, yeah, just make a dexterity, uh, check. Oh, dexterity check? Okay. Yeah, just like that dexterity check, like you're like a thrown weapon, like so your dex <clears throat> proficiency. Oh, okay. Um, that's going to be a one something oh yeah Six. okay <laughs> tom brady is from the eighth the ring also for those of you who care to look in the oh, gary's sorry, library chat i'm going to i am going to post a picture of like the on what you were saying is it the bat am i gonna poop when i see it oh oh that is not a bat <laughs> that is not a oh. bat that is ugly <laughs> that yeah that is the face of the bat Wow, oh. that, that's ugly. Vod? It is kind of clinging to the wall, like the side of this manor. So you throw 
the uh, uh, the pebble, and you watch as soon as okay. it hits, and you just. What were you saying? Uh, wait. Before we get into that, can I take like a one minute break? Yeah. Or okay. like right after, right after this, can I take like just a one minute? Break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, because everyone else, I I could see what everyone else is doing while you guys stepped away. Because mm. I'm not sure if everyone, okay. unless you all followed them. Well, the, the only is what the, the only reason like. is. Or, sorry, the only sorry. reason is because I think I got everything set up so I can actually turn my webcam on and stuff, but I just gotta reconnect my headset to Discord on my computer. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so for the sake of it, uh, did the, the the rest of the other did you three follow them or are you guys still checking out? I might to stay in the room. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in the room with them just in case something happens. Okay, so you guys are staying in like the hunter's den. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm... so I, we'll just we'll continue with you guys while Joe's while Joe's doing his thing. So they step out of the room. What uh, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna look at Vud and be like, "You're very strong. Can you get this door open? Can you punch it open? Can you rip it open? I mean, there's got to be a way you can get this door open." Are you talking about the cabinet with the lock on yeah. it. Yeah, yep. I was gonna say the cabinet. See, I'm not the only uh, one that's curious about that. I tempted you guys. It's going to be weapons and or something, because I'm suspicious of this. I think the monster is the dad. That's where that's where my headspace is. Because he's, he's got, like, drunk on the rampage. That, you're on. so dreamy when you're investigative. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Vod, you gonna, you gonna try and break this lock? Yeah, yeah. Should I? All right. Okay, I have my, uh, do I still have my, my uh, battle axe on me and stuff? Yeah, you also have like that maw, that I don't know if you found that in your inventory. Dave, the uh, barbarian. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I just uh, would that be under equipment? Yeah. Um, all I see is the great X in there. Before he swings, I'm gonna get off his shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you swing, you just like roll off. <laughs> but yeah, you you yeah you do you have your weapons. I'm gonna try and see where this guy thought I put it in there. Sweet, so I have my little hatchet. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it is your great axe. It's the Hellfire Great Axe. Okay. Okay, then. That's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to swing at the lock with the great axe. All right, make an attack roll. Talking once to do, Trevor. Okay, it's 2021. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. You guys are, you guys are getting into a boss battle. That's it. Someone dying today. Right, that's it. Uh, I rolled a twelve. I'm so sorry. Uh, is that including the plus four from the great axe? Yes. Your hit. Okay. Uh, guess what? It's a lock. You hit it. Roll damage. Oh dang! I pissed. You know what? Don't don't roll damage. It I, broke. I, I, I played you. You break the lock. <laughs> <laughs> I played you. It's a lock. I played you. <laughs> cool. I tricked you. It's a, you break the lock. But big and strong. <laughs> yeah. uh, weird. Okay. Roger, but, Bud pulls out this like semi like smoldering axe that's made out of this dark like ebony like metals that's kind of smoking and small like smoking and has like this red hot ember glow to it and he just brings it down and you watch as the lock just yeah, melts two weird questions yeah. one i have two spell slots but it's either i can cast it immediately or i can do like the like for example the tech magic takes 10 minutes does that will that still count as a spell slot no that is a that's called ritual casting so if you take 10 minutes and just do it like that. You're not going to expend the spell slot, but you can't do anything else for ten minutes. Do we? How long is their thing taking? Uh, right now they've been maybe gone like five. Yeah, seconds. I think. Are you doing? You're doing this like simultaneously as us. Yeah, this is simultaneously. Right, so right. as soon as they step out of the room and you hear the front, like kind of like the, the uh, foyer, like the door to the like the hallway into the foyer open, like that's as soon as this is happening. We're so it's like, like, <laughs> like that. They're gone. Let's fucking do it. It's like it's like you guys <laughs> yeah. sit there. I like to believe like you guys are gonna walk out and Clefairis just kinda holds up his hand, waits till they're gone wait waits till they're they turn the corner and he goes Bravo six going dark. He just kinda like he goes get the lock. Bravo six going dark. So uh, we have to lock off. But yeah, the lock is smashed. It's super yeah, smashed. Yeah, okay. And you can freely freely open the cabinets. I'm gonna tell Vud to open it just in case something happens. <laughs> Big guy, get it open. <laughs> this, this turtle, little scaredy cat. Blood opens All right. the cabinet. You the open block. the cabinet, yeah. and you find a heavy crossbow, 
a <clears throat> light crossbow and a hand crossbow and about a totaling of 60 bolts. So I'm able to use... Mine just says crossbow. How am I able to use just heavy, like only a hand or... Crossbow. That's You can use any crossbow. I'm going to take the medium one. I'm going to look around and see if anybody else wants any of the... Because if not, I'm taking all those arrows. <laughs> Yo! Can you guys hear me? There he is. Yep. What's up, Pam? Yep. Awesome. Dude, oh, and dude. we can see you. Wow, do you look great. Man. Yeah. Yeah, right? Jeez, yeah. hold on. My, my wife's going to watch this. Jeez <laughs> Louise, relax. Looking good over there, pal. But uh, am I able to comfortably store these arrows? Like, they're on a quiver, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, they're like... They're, they're, they're bolts. They're like that big. You can, you can just... Put, you can put them in a quiver, like in your bag, and store them. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna just throw them in there. Yeah, I know that we're not supposed to know what's happening, but they totally broke the lock. <laughs> just, I'm, tell, <laughs> I'm telling on them. I know you and I don't yeah. know that, but so, they, they so wrecked that lock. Have, you have a light crossbow and 60 bolts. And, uh, weird question. If I, like, I could store multiple things. Like, I still have my hand axe, even though I still have this crossbow, or do I yeah, have to? Yeah, okay. yeah. Your hand axe is, like, it's kind of in a belt loop on your side, and the light crossbow is probably, like, slung over your back, and, like, the the bolts are in your quiver. Okay, then I'm gonna run back up Vud's arm and uh, you know, carry on our business. I said we should go over to uh, Larry <laughs> Valentine because Vance's currently gone. So I don't know if he would want to do anything in this scenario. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. Yeah. One of them. I'm gonna since since I don't know if you know how to have figured out how to add equipment. I'm gonna add the light crossbow and the bolts for you. Also, I know I don't need to, like, say this for him, but in case you guys are wondering if he goes AFK a lot, he's in the military, so he gets, like, a lot of calls for different stuff. He's a dad. There you go. He now have a light crossbow and 60 bolts. I fucking love being a turtle. Teenage mutant ninja turtle. No, okay. You're an old fart. Fuck you. No, well, I'm using that snowball you gave me, like, forever ago. <laughs> hey, there you go. I knew yeah. I'd put these eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. All right. So, switching over to Valentine and Larry, you got you toss the pebble, and as the pebble hits the ground, you both notice in the distance a figure kind of standing there, just kind of like just watching, hood up, and then at that moment, the thunder <laughs> and crackles and like and booms out. It's a shriek. The figure's gone, and the, this bat shrieks and goes, cre like goes like just jumps off the roof, pulling pieces of like the si like the uh, siding and tiles with it as it crashes. Yeah, shingles as it crashes down on top of the object. Yeah, who's disrespecting a good man's house now? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, those of you inside, you hear this massive thing come tearing away from the house. Uh, Vance, do you want to do anything in this room, or I'm guessing we're just going to run out there and see what's going on, right? Just because you're the only person who hasn't, like, said what they want to do in the room yet. Everyone else left you, oh, dog. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I, I want to get the kids I, out I from under the porch. Yeah, so, so the bat flew away. So I, I think the bats, Vance... Yeah, the I, bat's I, I on, top of, on top of the object. We yell at the kids, which their names were... Uh, Rose and Thorn. Rose and Thorn, yep. Yeah. We're running out there with them. It's like, time to come inside. You, you, as soon as you look down to get the kids, they're gone. Oh, gone. son of a stupid. <laughs> stupid kids. <laughs> Freaking kids, dude. Yeah, and we would have gotten it if it wasn't for those rats. Is it like, does the porch like go Wait. like deeper under the house or like, you know, like, mm -hmm. like, is there, like, yeah, can I see where there. they went or did they just disappear? <clears throat> you did not see them. You didn't see where they went. No, I'm saying like, so like under the porch. Is can I like see that there's like a you, maybe a tunnel like you're, that you're, goes under the house even more? You know what I'm saying? As you as you kind of look under the porch and you can see like the foundation of the house kind of comes down and like you can get underneath the porch only so far. Okay. It's maybe like five or six feet of room in underneath there enough for like two kids to kind of bunk bunker down or one adult, but they're not there anymore. I look at Valentina. I think that they just vanished. I see nothing. And I just go back in. I follow him. Yeah. So those the the three of you as you're rushing I'm, up. I'm clearly agitated. To the front, <laughs> to like the front of this, uh, the front of the building. You see them kind of coming inside. And you see this massive, fifteen foot tall bat just kind of, just like basically tearing something apart in the 
like in the yard. That's it. Time to pull out the Glock. <laughs> uh, do I know you mentioned the f- shadowy figure? Do I notice him as we walk out? He's not there. Okay. How the far moment, did how, like, how far did Valentine get that pebble? Like, is this bat thing like within a hundred feet of us, or did he Tom Brady throw it? It's it's within sixty feet of you guys. It was enough for you guys to kind of brush yeah. out, kind of go and look for the kids, and then like, okay, let, we're just let's just go inside. Okay. On, on a twenty four. On a twenty four. I mean, sixty uh, yeah, feet is like I, a is like a good throw. Yeah, that's or, that's pretty good. That's I a guess. good throw. You know, that's like nothing. Twenty yards. That's not Tom Brady, but it's you know you're getting first down yeah. on that one. Yeah, I was gonna say you got the first down. You got the again. first down. You're good. You want more than fifty p? I'll, t- I'll take what I can get. That, that's okay. If Vlad threw that, it would have went a thousand yards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, sure, whatever. Vlad <laughs> threw it all the way around the and crashed into the back maybe, window. Maybe you should have been there to throw it instead of breaking <laughs> locks. Hey, I am big and stupid. I just do what I'm told. <laughs> big and stupid. What are you guys? Your, what are you guys doing? So great. Two of you are stomping back into the house. I look at Valentine and I say, I think we need to like, like start running, like quickly find this basement. Like we're running out of time, I think. I would agree. So I, I we, like gesture. We and need I, to get everyone. We need to get everyone on the same page, though. Okay, so I gesture that we start. Let's go. Let's go run to them now. Like not walk, but let's run to yeah. where we yeah. just were. I, I agree. I agree. Okay, we're running to the homies. We're all like meet you guys outside the room like yeah, right so there the guys, foyer yeah so as you guys are kind of moving out you guys all kind of meet right there like the entrance into the main into like the kind of what's this called the hall the great hall mm-hmm. where the foyer ends you guys all kind of meet up in that doorway next One, to the fire. I, I look at everyone i say we're we're running out of time we need to run and find this basement now as we're running i'd like to load a crossbow bolt to just like put that out there that i'm like loading okay. up you getting prepared okay. yeah you have a crossbow bolt so loaded. i think i so who, wait who's taking the lead of this run valentine are you sure i'll do it okay so um, i'm just gonna follow you any what's... door you go and let's roll what's everyone's passive perception uh mine is 13. It's on 11. The... vance it's on the like top left kind of area or not top left middle left oh, uh, oh, 15. Um... You see where well, it says, okay. And are you guys getting a lot of background noise from me? Because I noticed that my mic oh. like never stops glowing green. My, my, mine that. does the same. You're fine. I don't know why. That sounds good. All right. So as you guys are kind of stepping in and getting rid of around, you guys are all mm, just out of the corner of your eyes. Any of you who has uh, above a 10, that wolf head above the mat that was above the mantle in the other room is gone. Oh crap! Oh, oh, oh. Fucking knew it. it's that Dark Souls boss. I fucking knew it. Okay, oh, okay. I, I'm assuming we're gonna just keep running, right? Okay. So which, where where are you guys going? You guys can go. I'm up following the Valentine. And you have four four doors on the other side of the room. <sighs> Shoot. Yeah. Well, I don't think it would make any sense to go up the stairs to get down. So let let's try another door. I'm gonna swap headsets. And been... there's four more doors. Yeah, so many doors. doors across okay. the, uh, and, and the like, side of this room. Each of us just open a door and just check and see what's inside. Oh, that's we could do that, yeah. And so like each just opening one door at a time can like four of us just like go to each door and then like, open it. This is and all I, each go to a door. I mean we're all in the same room still. I vote we do that. I had to one of the un- one of the closed doors. Okay, Wait, so you have... there, we opened up the hunter's den, and there's four doors in here, or there's four no, doors across there, from it. There are four doors across from the hunter's den. <clears throat> okay. In huge house. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like a mansion, but yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's everybody so, take so a door. Yeah. So there's two on the left and two on the right. So let's call left one, left two, right one, right two. I'll take right one. I'll take right okay. two. Take, I'll take left one. Okay. And then me and Bud got left two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because right, you're so... left <laughs> All right. So, uh, sexy. Right, uh, right one, which I think was Valentine. Yeah. Valentine. You open, you open up the door and you step into a, what appears to be a tidy kitchen. 
Um, as you're kind of looking around, Sidey, it's a very, it's very well kept. There's, there's a work table with the cutting board and rolling pin sitting on it. There's a dome shaped oven on the east wall. A there's a stove top connecting to a hole in the ce ceiling, and you can see what looks like to be at the far end of the room is a another door which you can assume leads into a pantry. Okay, that's fair enough. I'm not going to go opening any other doors until everyone else meets back up and reports. Okay, so right to, which I believe was Mike, that's Larry. Mine. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, you step into a well-furnished dining room uh, on top of the uh, on the there's a very there's like eight high back chairs around this mahogany table the yet again the flooring is wood paneled there's a crystal chandelier above above the table <clears throat> there's this well placed like, like silverware around it uh the uh the plate the, the plates are like this kind of crystal that's polished and it's shining there is a marble fireplace on the other side of the room with a that's kind of, that is just kind of gently burning there is a kind of the painting of a family above the fireplace and on top of this on this table is this it is this spread meal and you see there are like like the bone and tomahawk steaks there is some various vegetables and cakes and bottles of wine and it smells delightful like it like it's fresh like like I can, yeah. can I kind of tell it's like fresh, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna do anything yet. Okay. Um, uh, left to. <coughs> Who is that again? Left to it's me and Clefairis. Okay. So, pardon. <coughs> Vod and Clefairis, you guys step into uh, step into the room, and you guys see. The same thing I was just describing to Garrett, to Larry. You guys have stepped into a well-furnished dining room with this, this very nice spread, like like with steaks and vegetables. Is it the same room with two doors in it? Yes, it's the same room. Okay. Okay. So can we see? Larry? Yeah, can we like see like, each other on the doors? Are, you, you, yeah. You guys see Larry as he's kind of poking around and kind of looking at everything. Okay. Okay. And final door. It's hopefully stairs you... to a basement. <laughs> Here I'm just making sure. Uh you open it up and it's a what appears to be a kind of a large closet. There's just black cloaks hanging from hooks and a top hat sitting on a high shelf. Hmm. We're getting into that closet. <laughs> Very suspicious. Can I, can I like can I move like the <clears throat> The cloaks around stuff. See if I can see anything. Like, yeah, you move, the you move, you move the, you move the cloaks around, and it's just, it's just like little hangers. <clears throat> Nothing <clears throat> spectacular to be seen. Oh, I just meet up with everyone else then. Yeah, I just report back to the middle. Wait for everyone to get back. Same. Okay. Me and Claire just go back. Meet up with everybody. Okay. You guys all <clears throat> step back into the main into the main room, and by now, did you guys uh, close the uh, the doors to the the dining hall? Or do you leave I don't think there? I would close any doors in this building. You know, I don't think uh, I would close any doors. Okay, the uh, the smell of the feast is starting is just wafts into the. Oh crap! That bad. I'm gonna keep the door oh. open anyway. The bat's gonna smell it. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna tell them like I'm gonna say like I, I think we should keep these doors open, but there's like a dining room in there. Like freshly set food, and there is some kind of a bat like creature outside that might be able to smell this. But I want to keep all the doors open just so we, you know, can kind of remember where we're at as we ex continue to look around this house. I can definitely smell it, I can smell the food too. I would like to place my other two torches in there. To like, kind of like, so the fire can mask the smell of the food as best it can. Like how you light a match after you take a fat poop. The uh, the dancing lights they don't emit smell. They're just little <laughs> globules of light. 
<laughs> oh, they say torches, so I assume like fire. Yeah, <clears throat> they, they 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 act like a torch, but they don't give off any smell. That's magic. They're like little pieces. Yeah, they're little pieces of like arcane light. Okay, then I'll just hit Rudy with one. And we'll carry on our day. It doesn't it's a light? You oh. can't hit me with light. <laughs> The only thing I found inside of uh, the room I checked is that there may be a pantry in the kitchen, but the door could lead to something else. So, Timothy, well, what about your room? No uh, crossbow in there. Closet. There's nothing exciting in there. Is there other doors? Like, do we like when we went into this room? Like, was there another option? Like, if we go back a room? No, the only other place to go is up, up the, the stairs. stairs. All right, I know. That we're trying to go down, but we have to go up the stairs, I think. I'm going to open the pantry, or what maybe is the pantry. For... Mm. Okay, uh, you go. open the pantry. Let me confirm with my notes on what, you might, what is in the pantry. While uh, you're doing that, I'm going to look. I'm going to go into Jimothy's room and with Vaughn um, and make sure, get like a good look at that closet, see if I notice anything out of the ordinary. Uh, make me a perception check. Go ahead and make a perception check. If you want to, don't let Trevor uh, tell you what to do. Or smell. What'd you say? Does this perception check rely on sight or smell? Sight. Sight. You okay. Filthy animal. Uh, Twenty non-natural. Okay. Uh, as you're kind of looking around, this pantry is bare. There's no food in it, and as you're looking around, you're kind of poking around, and you see behind, you're like you're kind of looking around, and it's something like. Not only like sight, but like something kind of sour catches your nostril, catches your sense, <clears throat> your sense of smell, just barely. And you look around and you see what looks like the bodies of several emaciated rats. Hmm. It'd be hard to talk to them. Can I take a passive investigation to like? notice any secret doors or anything um you there's you didn't there's nothing that kind of stands out <clears throat> outside of the ordinary like door wise everything seems kind of flush and safe the only thing that really stood out to you was the fact that these rats starved to death in this room okay in the pantry that's empty okay. mm. next to the room actually can i while he's doing that because so I, so I see Valentine's going back into his room, like back into the room, right, to do more investigating. Can I try to use my matron to just pick up, like, one of the plates to see if this is, like, a real fresh plate of food? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I would like to do that. Like, just the closest one. Mei-chan <clears throat> picks it up. It's there. You bring it to you and you touch it. It's real. It's okay. food. I'll, I'll go put real. it back down then. It smells real. I probably also shout from this room, don't eat any of the food. Yeah, I, I did. I I put it down anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I I also call out. There's rats in here, starved to death. Weird question. If I were to go to uh, do detect magic on the food, I mean obviously it's magic, but will give me an insight into what kind of magic it is. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take the ten minutes to kind of. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask around the group. Do we want to wait ten minutes, or am I just gonna pop it? I I think we need no. to I think we need to move. I mean we yeah I'm just gonna pop it. Those kids vanished. You're gonna okay, so you're just gonna spend the spell slot. Yep, already spent okay. it. Uh, the food isn't an illusion. It is an illusion. Yep, you uh, huh. Ferris, you can tell the food is not real. Wow, the cake is a lie. <laughs> Freaking yeah, the cake stupid. is in fact a lie. It's like my birthday last year. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna look at Valentine and be like, I don't think these are the what are they the 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 worst the worst that's the family name. Durst. Or, so the Durst. I don't, Thorn and I don't think Durst. Durst. you knew. What, the, wait, starting, wait again? I'm starting to think these Durst aren't the ones you know. I couldn't tell you. All right, well, I say let's start going up the steps. We got to move. We're taking a little bit too much time in here. Yeah. And I start to... Yeah, okay. Okay, moving up the steps. You guys move up the steps, and you move into uh, this hallway with uh, unlit oil lamps mounted on the on in, this, in an elegant hall, and there's a mantle on the far side of the room, and hanging above that mantle 
is a painting of a family. You notice the uh, children, which are Rose and Thorn. And Valentine, you recognize the faces of Gustav and Elizabeth Durst, their mother and father. And you see the father smiling, and he's he's holding a swaddled baby. But you notice the woman's face is of absolute scorn, looking right at the child. Mm. And there are there's a door immediately to the right of the stairs as you come up, and there are two sets of double doors down the hall. Son of a bitch! Does the stairs to the right do they go up or down? No, you're like the stairs the stairs are still going up, but like you come oh. up and you hit a landing. Okay. And okay. immediately to the right of that landing is a is a door. And wait, maybe yeah, so that yeah, so immediately to the right is a door. And down the hall maybe twenty feet are two double doors, one on the right side of the hall and one on the left side of the hall. Let's take I... the door on the right. Yeah. We'll just take these doors as we come to them. Okay, so the one immediately on the right. Well, real quick, I mean, we could have uh, we could have Jimothy like maybe like airbend open a door just to, and we could just like quickly like see if there's oh inside there is you know more doors or like the beast is in there like something like that. And so, you guys, you who's pushing open the oh, open the door right, to the Wait, right? I mean, are you gonna do that, Jimothy, or do you assume you use the mage hands? Are you trying to airbend the door open, or are you just following? What's up? I'll try to airbend the door open. I mean, I can mage hand it. I'm g- I can mage hand uh, it if you don't embarrass I don't yourself. Think we need let me mage hand it. Your airbending air was oh. roundhouse kicking a door last yeah, time. Yeah, let me just let me just well, mage hand the door. How am I gonna get better if I don't practice? I'm just that's giving us practice. ideas to to get as much information as we can. I'm just gonna mage yeah, hand yeah. open the door because that's okay. a guaranteed work. <laughs> the dimly glowing skeletal hand opens the door, pushes it open. And you see a room with two kind of, with two straw stuffed beds, two mattresses. At the foot of each bed is a, you see a foot locker. You see tidy, like, uh, uniforms hanging next to each bed. And there is a small, like, door, like, maybe this big, immediately to the left of the door. Is it like a laundry chute, kind of? Uh, you open up, it's basically, it's a dumbwaiter that goes up and down the... Okay. Length of a building. So we'd assume that goes from the kitchen to yeah, it goes from the kitchen bedroom. up. Yep. Did I see a dumb waiter in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, I I, I missed it, but yeah, there was a dumb waiter. It was okay. kind of like kind of tucked behind something. Will that in theory go down to the basement? No, it would go down to the kitchen, definitely. Or just the kitchen? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you guys can infer that these. This is a, ser- This is a servant. This is the servants' quarters. All right, I think we should go to the other doors now. This this looks like a yeah. room. So I'm going to use my mage hand to open the other doors. Oh, I want to make an investigation in here real quick, though. I'll allow okay. it. <laughs> I love that, Vance. Only Vance loves it. Natural 20. Mm-hmm. Um, man, what a, way, what, a, what a place to spend. To <laughs> use your, it's 20. definitely a straw bed. <laughs> uh, the beds are nice. Uh, the uniforms are pretty tidy. As... You're kind of going to step out. You look back for just a second after the, uh, air, like for some reason, everyone's kind of piling out of the room. You kind of you start stepping away. And you turn back and you look, and you kind of run your finger across like some of the furniture in here, and your finger comes up black with dust. Even though it looks new. Even though it looks new. Mm. Everything's an illusion. Okay, I show everyone. Like I, I lift my finger up. So is this whole go, house an illusion? Yeah. Or at least, or at least the idea of it looking new and like a used house. First we, had, first we had the food that was an illusion, and now we know that the appearance of everything being new isn't as it is. Well, I, I forget if I did tell the group, but I also mentioned to the group that you know I saw skeletons outside, or at least a skeleton. And there's one other thing. Those children disappeared. I wonder if they're even real. Because they disappeared. Are we in a trap? Is this a trap? This is this a trap house? Are there windows? Are there windows like where we can look outside? 
Not in, not in this room. There are... <coughs> There, you can assume there are windows in other rooms. You did see windows on the first floor, so there has to be windows on the second floor too. Because, because Jim and Tina feel about them. Yeah, Keep so her. there are windows on this. Because the monster <coughs> may be very real, even though some things are not. Right. Okay. Uh, let's just let's just be prepared that this might be a trap, and let's go to the other the other double doors now. And I'll use my yeah, let's investigate. I don't think time is of the essence anymore because I don't think there's actually someone in trouble. Yeah. So you guys going to the double doors on the right or the double doors on the left? On the side of caution and just play it safe. Let's act with urgency instead of dawdling. Yeah. Uh, So we just opened the door to our media, right? Wrong. That would be disastrous. So we just opened the doors to our media, right? Already, right? So now I want to do the ones on the left. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm using my main channel. Media right, and there's like. Yeah, there's a single door to the immediate right, which oh, is the okay. servants' quarters, and there's two. There's a double door to the up down the hallway to the right, and there's a double door up down the hallway to the left. Whatever one's closer, and if they're both the same, then we'll just stay on the right side wall. Yeah, that's it. so you guys are moving to the along the right side wall. Yep, mage hand open right, at first, you, of course. All right, you uh, push open the doors, and what you see in this room: a red velvet drapes cover the windows of this room. An exquisite mahogany desk and matching high back chair face the entrance of the, and the fireplace, above which hames, hangs a framed picture of a windmill perched atop a uh, rocky crag. Situated in the corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs. Floor-to-ceiling bookshelves line the south wall. A rolling wooden ladder allows one to allows one to more easily reach the high shelves. I'm gonna, so it's like a study. I'm gonna look at. Mm-hmm. Look at Valentine. Do you think if we like mess with something in this illusion, it could totally destroy the illusion? Do you think? Like if we like knocked over something? The same exact thing. Is there? Uh, would I? Man, it, what I'm trying to say is: is there a way for us to break the illusion in this house? Or like, can I come? Could my yeah, I have like. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a proficient in Arcana. Would I know, or can I roll something to see if I know how to break an illusion like this? Yeah, make me a crowd of checks. Okay. And then I got a weird uh, I will too. That's okay. Also, Dent, your uh, detect magic is still up. Mm -hmm. You're not picking up anything from the house itself, but you are getting strong hints of necromancy from the mist outside. Did I pick up anything when looking at anything specific when looking at that photo with the woman with the scorn face? I rolled an 18 on yeah, Arcana. The only thing that you've picked up hits on so far are the mist. It's just the faintly from the mist outside because you're kind of a distance away and from the food. So 18 on Arcana. Were you rolling too, Valentin? Yeah, I got a five. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you, uh, Larry, you kind of have an idea like you would have to either A, find the thing that the, orig that the original like spell was cast on and dispel that or you would have to slay slay the caster or a dispel magic spell could work time time to shoot kids okay uh, i share i share that with our group i share that with our group to see if anyone has dispel magic or or like also hinting to our uh Cl clefaris so i know like you did your detect magic, if you can find any source that seems to be the main source, like point that out to us. If you if you think you can find like a main source potentially. How long does detect magic last? Ten minutes. Can I feel a strong reading from any like anything in that room? Or as I walked into the room prior, you said I didn't detect anything particular? Nothing in particular. Okay, then I'm, then I'm gonna tell Larry I don't detect anything out of the ordinary aside from necromancy going on. Okay, then we have to keep moving. We won't be able to break the spell unless we can find who's actually casting it, or who yeah, has we're casted have to it. Kill kids. Are you guys moving out of the library then? Mm -hmm. All Valentine, wherever he goes. Uh, I want to make an investigation again. Okay. Dude, another nat twenty. <laughs> I I'm slaying not it, slaying it. Dude, uh, so <clears throat> I will show you guys right now as you're kind of going through 
looking around, kind of inspecting this room kind of briefly, you kind of absentmindedly take the uh, ladder and you Man, push, it off to, push it off to the side. And as you do, it keeps going and you hear a small clunk as it hits the wall. And you watch as one of the bookshelves go. Wait, what did I do that triggered that? You pushed a ladder <laughs> off to the side. And you open the okay. door, I think. Oh, I would have thought I would have been pulling down a book. <laughs> Dang. And sitting in front of you is a 15-foot-long room <laughs> with a bunch of books. Ah, oh, no stairs? <laughs> and a desk. Let's check that out. So if we're within 15 feet, because uh, Detect Magic goes 30, do I anything particular off that, that desk or that shelf? Nope. Okay. Nothing magical. Uh, who's going into the secret room? Following Valentine. Okay. Jimothy's yeah, with in, us. And... Vud, get in here. <laughs> okay. So looking, looking around, you guys find a bunch of books detailing means of obtaining eternal life, summoning demons, and very other ritualistic spells. <clears throat> all and... and you each of them has a common theme referencing the consuming of flesh yikes most of them refer not only to just consuming the flesh but of cannibalism <laughs> is there I think, at, I think the wife ate the kids and as the someone who it. likes to read books like, Larry likes to read books. Is there any book, like, specifically that might stick out to me, or can I just grab a book and just keep it? Like, I don't want to read right now, but I just want to grab a... And if there's, if there's one that, like, sticks out more than the others, I prefer that one, but otherwise, just any of the books that, like, yeah, I would never have seen that before. Yeah, you can see there's a book that looks like it's been... It looks like it's been left through a little bit more, kind of sitting on the, uh... Sitting on, like, a small desk in this room. Oh, yeah, one on a desk. I definitely want that book. I want that book to be okay. my book. You grab that book and you put it in your bag? Yeah, does it have a cover on it, or is it just like a black? No, it's just it's just it's just a black bound book. I mean, I What's quickly open it to make sure it's like not blank. No, it's got pages in okay, it. Okay, I put it in I my. Did that to you before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have. <laughs> what you were saying, Valentine? Oh, uh, what's inside of the desk? Uh, you can, the the desk is more or less just like a table set up to like read books on. It doesn't have like drawers or anything. Okay. It's just got like pile more like books piled on top of it. Okay. Well, um, I take a minute then and make sure everyone knows like what we're probably dealing with here. I think we're dealing with uh, mother killed the kid, they ate the husband, trying to gain immortal life, or the or the husband himself. But I, uh, I uh, missed one object. As you guys, as you guys are pulling the books, you guys see crumpled on the floor is a skeleton clutching a letter. <clears throat> I uh, I can grab that with my mage hand from that skeleton. Does anyone disagree? Or oppose? All right, yeah, I'll... Make your skeleton hand grab the other skeleton hand's letter. Okay, I make my skeleton hand grab the other skeleton's <laughs> hand letter. They give each other knucks. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we do a cool fist bump ritual thing. <laughs> so, uh, Found it, no, good day. Can I pull out a really meta game idea here? I can I can I investigate the skull? Because as in, I mean, as someone in the medical field, men's skulls and women's skulls appear differently. It's hot. They're like in their jaw and like, so, am I able to determine the sex of the person based off the skull by analyzing it? Roll a medical medicine. check. Medicine check. Yeah, medicine, not medical. Medicine. Seven. Oof. You can't tell. It's Stupid you. It like a, it, it's just a human. Just because it is very obvious in the skull in terms of mm -hmm. uh, gender. Yeah, but you're a turtle. Yeah, I, I, it's, it, yeah, it's something turtle. like, yeah, it's something like you would know, but like. <laughs> Stupid turtle. Your character who's this, who's this turtle man who lived in the swamps. He, he wouldn't know the difference. That's Dr. Turtle to you, little bitch. 
All right. So, Rudy, uh-huh. you have the letter. Do you want me to send you the words that that, it, that you want me to send you the letter and you can read it out loud, or do you want me to read it out loud? From I'll read it out loud. The sender. Oh no no no! If you're gonna use a voice, definitely definitely do it that way. Oh god! Yeah, yeah, do the voice. Do the voice. Oh goodness! Do the voice. <laughs> Okay, so like as you read it out loud, you guys all kind of notice this kind this voice kind of echoes on top and kind of echoes throughout the chamber and your skulls around you. My most pathetic and my most pathetic servants, I allow you and your pathetic band of miscreants to exist in my land only for my own amusement. I am not your messiah and have not come to lead you on a path to immortality. Continue your your farcical rituals and have your meals of flesh. Carve my visage on every stone you see. Sire as many bastards as you wish. I care not. You are all worms writhing in my earth, and I shall not save you from your wretchedness. I much prefer you as you are, your dread lord and master, Strahd von Zarovich. I really want to work for this guy now. He made a compelling argument. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bitch of an uh, HR department. Can you do the evil laugh one more time? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're still an evil voice. You're an evil voice. You're an evil voice. Go back to normal. <laughs> dark Trevor. Dark Trevor. <laughs> Trevor's permanently dark now. I, sorry, I was I was like I was like trying to fix my uh my screens because I have like so many tabs split open here. Hold your Just fire. All of my notes. Black. It's like literally I have, I, have I have everything split. I have like a half window here, a half window here, a half window here, two quarter windows here. Oh crap. Yeah, I've got a lot of notes up, man. That was a Dragon Ball reference. <laughs> yeah. So, I got you. I knew it was a reference. Uh, Man, I've lied to you guys again. There's also a chest here. Stupid liar. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a chest, huh? Agree. That doesn't seem important at all. If I open this chest and a magical staircase down appears, I'm going to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, chest, the chest is already open. <laughs> Good, I don't have to break it. And inside the chest are three books, three scrolls, oh. and you see what looks like three other pieces of paper. Kind of all kind of stacked on top of each other. May I grab? Can I investigate the three books and the three scrolls just to see what they're about? The three books are, they're just, they're blank books. Okay. Son of a bitch. And the scrolls? <laughs> uh, Dent, you get a hint. All three of these scrolls are magical. Are they, okay, then am I able to roll a perception to figure out what kind of, like, I'm guessing it's uh, magical in the sense of it's hiding the words. You, know, you can tell that they're spell scrolls. They're scrolls containing spells. Mm. Oh, then I'm going to yank those out of Rudy's hand and I'm going to put them on my back. <laughs> As l- looking at them, they contain the spells Bless Protection from Poison and Spiritual Weapon. I mean, do you have a backpack? Yeah, I have a backpack. Fuck you. <laughs> I have a shell. Yeah, I was going to say he's got a shell. <laughs> Give me that little shit. Yeah, and there are also... There's also the three pieces of paper. You could have those. The, pa- <laughs> the paper, are they... Do they have anything on them? Uh, you look at them. One is a deed to the house you are in. The second one is the deed to a windmill that you see is it's located reference to be located east of some place called Velaki. And another one is as you glance through it appears to be a will signed by Gustav and Elizabeth Elizabeth Durst that bequeaths their property, the the house, the windmill, and the other property to a Rosvalda and Thornbolt Durst in the event of their parents' deaths. Yeah, I just I just shared that with everyone. Share that Wait, info. Uh, weird weird question. Magic scrolls in in D anD D. Like, if I, is it like a one time use? One time use. 
Unless you're like a wizard and you can transcribe them into a spell book. That's why okay. I wanted them. I want those. Wolfie, how much how much they mean to you? I mean, you were kind of a dick them. to me back in the you were a jackass back in the tavern. You're also an artificer and you don't have a spell book. I know, but I might take a level in wizard eventually. Dude, I would beat your ass in front of everybody in this group. <laughs> I did not put my balls on your drum set. Okay. What are you guys doing? Uh, so Waiting. I share that information with everyone, yeah. And then I'm following Valentine. <laughs> Valentine again. Peach fuzz on my face. Yeah, it's been like that since you were in high school. <laughs> so Actually, funny. I just, uh, I just accidentally pulled up the Twitch stream again, and I have to agree with Lex. Tig is a cutie. Look at him down there. Dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, he also got like a quad feed yesterday. Dude. I was Lex. Dude, Tig? Oh, Tig? yeah. Well, Vance just walked away and Edgar's crying to go pee and we're talking about Twitch. I'm going to take a quick break, okay? Is Edgar, Edgar okay, just like cool. crying I real quick? I'm going to go to the bathroom for a minute. Okay, so. yeah, let's do yeah. it quick. Cool. I'll be back. Okay, quick. sweet. Okay. I'll do it quick. I'm bringing it back in. You guys were departing the library. Were you guys going to check out this, the final room? Yeah. In this? I mean, at this point, might as well, right? Might as well. All right. Uh, it's like a hydro guys... wheel. Door 12 mm -hmm. more <laughs> Uh, you guys open up, and there are gossamer drapes covering the windows. Uh, it's a very, it's a hall, basically. It's a very large room. It's like 20 feet uh, across and 30 feet in length. Uh, there's a beautiful uh, brass-plated chandelier hanging from the ceiling. A ch a, a, upholstered chairs line the walls and stained glass uh, depict... Uh, men, women, and children singing and playing instruments. There's a harpsichord in the northwest corner near a fireplace, a standing harp. Um, there are alabaster figures of well-dressed dancers adorn the mantle. I can tell this is more of like a ballroom. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously this is an illusion. At least in terms of it looking nice. Uh, I'll, I'll roll. I'll roll for investigation perception. See if I notice anything. Okay. Okay. We'll roll uh, it. it. Would that be investigation or perception? Uh, either. Okay. <clears throat> Five, dude. I'm getting fucked tonight. Getting shambolied. Uh, you want some? You help? Don't... Yeah, yeah. I'll roll too. Yeah. I'll go investigation since I've been getting really lucky with that one. Nothing okay. nasty for me. Of course I jinx myself. That's the <laughs> one, right? Uh, no. Investigation, that gives me nine. Nine? I'm looking around. No, you guys don't find anything. Nothing stands out in this room. Are there... No, not even. Investigation. Can I take that? What was that? <clears throat> Can I take a passive investigation? Uh, what's your passive? 14. 14. Still, don't find anything. Okay. Nothing, this room, nothing really strikes you as odd in this room. Everything seems kind of by the bar. And the, there's no other rooms that break off this? It's just still back the way we came? Yep, back the, just back the way you came. Right. Back when we came, though, there's still another set of stairs that go up, correct? Yep, you guys, still, you guys can still go up. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're just on the landing. Yep. Uh, I gestured everybody see if we're all good to continue up the stairs. Yeah. Yep, I follow. Yep. All right. You guys continue up the stairs, and you reach the third and presumably final, the, or the higher, or the, like, the final, um, level of the house because remember there, there were, this is being, this being a three story house as the last of you gets up to the top of the stairs well as the first one as the first one of you gets to the top of the stairs whoever's at the bottom kind of look around you guys notice <clears throat> all the well polished the moment who's up who's up front are you keeping the original oh, order i assume same yeah same order valentine okay, so, so Val as soon as you watch whoever's like so larry as soon as you watch valentine step off the stairs out of the third third floor you watch is the the past the house you guys went through this like well polished, like uh, taken care of house, 
instantly changes. It loses its luster. The floorboards become creaked and gray and splitting. Cobwebs start da- start clinging to corners around everything. The oil lamps all go out. Does it get and... darker? So I, yes. I do have my light, but besides my light, like my pebble I still have. All right, so I yell up to the front, and I say, everything down here, like this whole illusion down here just faded away. I yell that everything to the top. Everything turns dusty, and as you guys get to the top, it is the exact same. There's no, so the, the illusion fancy, is gone. Yeah, the, the illusion is gone. Okay, so I the yell up to the top, is... and I say, the illusion down here is gone. I'm going to go back down by myself and see if the illusion will come back or not. So I, like, step back down, like, so since I'm the only one there... Is the illusion still gone? Like, do I- I'm back on the- The, the illusion is gone. Okay, can oh, I- What's yeah. your passive- what's your passive perception? Larry? 13. Okay. My uh, passive investigation, if that the, matters, is 15? No, uh, as you step to the bottom of the stairs, look around, and you see everything as it is. You see a massive wolf moving in the dining room. I- I immediate- guys, there's a- there's a wolf down here in the dining room. Come down here now. And as mass- we're walking down, I slam the door and scream, good luck. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You notice, like, it's in the, as you recall, that, do you, get, do you guys close both doors or just the one? For the dining room? I didn't the close my room? door. My door did not yeah, get closed. Yeah, we didn't close any door. Okay, yeah, so as you're still on the stairs, like, it hasn't noticed you. It's just kind of poking around the dining room. Okay, I, the, the, there's a huge wolf down here in the dining room with all the food. Get down here quick. Vud come check. I, yeah, I, I go downstairs as well. Stupid question. Does does the wolf look like it's on the hunt or just walking around? Like does it it's seem just, like it's just it's just it's just it's just walking around. Is this the one that Where? was like a statue at one point or whatever that we saw? It did nope, it did not look that big. It looked like it, oh, it looked, looked like a regular massive, wolf. It did not look that big. It, oh, okay. Like, it looked bigger than a regular wolf, but not quite that big. You just see it's kind of poking around. It looks like it just kind of wandered in here. And with your intelligence, I'd say you I'm a smart man. Could, you could rightly assume that you could just back away and leave its beat and we'll just wander back out. It came in here smelling the food, <clears throat> and it could leave again. Okay, so, so is everyone coming down the stairs? Because if so, so, I'll stop, and I'm going to ask Valentin, because Valentin was the first one that went up. I'm going to see if I can get Valentin to come down, just to see if the illusion comes back, if Valentin comes down. Like, do you do that? Like, come down here to see I if think- the- me and Ferris were running down the stairs. So I, well, I explained to you that when you went to the top and you took that first step on top, this illusion fell down here. So if you come down here again, will the illusion come back? Is what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. But like, also, who cares? You know? Well, I'm trying to see if it's you specifically or if it's... I'm trying to see like... Because I was down here without... There was no illusion, like me by myself. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a couple steps down or, or whatever. Okay, Valentine, you make your way down, and are we still on the wolf though? Like, are, is it game on right now? I don't, I don't well, think. No, I say I was, no. I was gonna ask, like, I whispered to the group, do we want me to speak with it? Because I have to speak with animals, or do we just assume it's just a regular wolf not doing anything special? Well, it doesn't look like he's hunting us. I can use my mage hand from here and just close those doors, and we can just keep moving on. Just I, smack I, it. I, like, I want to kill the wolf. You want to kill the wolf? All right. I'm with Valentine. Yeah. Then do oh before anything starts, I'm going to immediately open the fight by shooting it with my crossbow and then putting that away and pulling all on right, my So you guys are all making your way. Isn't it down two flights of stairs? I think it's down one yeah. flight, right? I mean, I'm on the same well, floor as still down. because I was at the yeah. very end. So you hadn't made it to the third floor from the landing yet. Everybody else had. Yeah, so I'm like down so, here on the same floor as the wolf, and I called Valentine down. He came down. Which, Trevor well, said, "Trevor, what level are we on? Clear it up for us." Okay, so it depends. You so you announced there was a wolf, and then you said, that you "And I tell Valentine down." I call so Valentine down. Yeah. Were you tr- you're trying to get Valentine to step all come all the way down, or were you just trying to get off the t- the top floor? I was just trying to get Valentine to see if we can get the illusion to come back down here or not, to see if it's linked to him. <clears throat> Okay, here's where, here's what it comes down to. So after squeezing past everyone, Valentine, would you have humored him enough to come all the way down to the first floor, or would you have just take yeah. gotten off the third floor? I would have okay. gone all the way down, especially if there's a wolf. All right. Let's say for, for you to come all the way down, I would say 
you've made it to the first floor, but the rest of you have followed no hearing the talk that there was a wolf. I know Vud said he would because he he's got some bloodlust. Bud smash. I swear to God, if you use me as a bat, I swear to gosh, if you use me as a bat, Vud, so help me. Huh. Wolf. Go fly. I think where it came from, or so help I'm... me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say this. For, for the Initially, we'll have Vud, Valentin, and Larry on the ground floor because Vud is a big guy and he was and he could easily kind of outmaneuver everyone. Mm -hmm. Like, in the sense that, and me just knowing his character sheet. So, Same him and Val, him, Val, Valentin, Larry, and Vud are on the ground floor. The rest of you, you're, are, you're coming down, so... Remember, I'm on Vud's shoulder. I forgot about that. I constantly forget about that. <laughs> we move as one. We move as one. Together, we strong. Eight together, okay, strong. You guys are all on the ground floor. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not gonna I bring tiny turtle time. men with me. Timothy just looked around. Where the fuck did everybody guys... go? <laughs> yeah. The wolf, is, the, wolf is in the, the wolf is in the dining room. Does he look cute? How okay. are you guys going to approach this? Uh, I look at Valentine. So Valent, I look at Valentine. You said you wanted to kill this. Do we? I mean, are you ready? Like, start us off. I say to Valentine. You're muted, my dude. I'm muted. My bad. I call. Oh. Uh, yeah, I want to make a sneak attack. Oh. <clears throat> okay, you uh. Take a step into the room, and the wolf is sitting there just kind of, like, messing around with the food. You absolutely make the attack roll. Everyone's going to get one action, and then we're going to roll initiative. Oh, there's the eye word. Now, um, what's, what's the range on my chain? Ten feet? On your chain? Because <clears throat> we uh, never... Yeah, let's say, yeah, we yeah never ten feet. Okay. Ten feet. Okay. And I have advantage on this, right? Because... Yeah, it is no idea of your presence. I played. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be a 15 to hit. 15 hits. Okay. I should probably start keeping track of some of this nonsense. Nonsense. Here's where, man. I wish I had some battle music. Oh, hey, but... Joe. I should have said this during our break. By the way, if you, so your mic isn't making any background noise that I hear. But if you're worried about it, you can put on push to talk, like and use like spacebar or something. I wanted to say that during the break, but I forgot to. Oh uh, yeah. Well, well, I, your mic I don't think it's. I don't too. think it's a problem at all. But I. I know you were concerned with it. So yeah. I, just, I just wanted to share that information. So, okay. Sorry. You know what we should do? Hey, while while just for now, what he wants to do? Let's do let's do a quick like homework assignment real quick. So Trevor has been trying to find good music to play for us, but or sounds, but he keeps finding copyrighted stuff. I think as a group project, everyone should try to find at least like one good sound or like longer okay. song that can be a good background copyright free thing yeah you don't have to do it but like if anyone gets time and you're like man do i want to pick my boogers or help i just want to throw Sneak that out there 1d6 at level one right I yeah i, sh I should I just do so i don't know how to play rug yeah it's been a little while since i played D. &D. um <laughs> let me just look real quick yeah, yeah there we go i don't have to add anything else to this one d6 yeah so um that is eight piercing damage <clears throat> eight piercing mm -hmm. all right i i'm out. really bad <laughs> <laughs> all right so you you swing out your chain and you go and you hit it the side and it kind of yelps for a second and it kind of turns and looks at you okay and the rest of you as you are uh -huh. sitting there, you watch a second wolf, even bigger than the first, walk out from the from the den, and look right at you. I'm gonna kill Valentine. Not everyone, <laughs> oh, say the word. Not everyone, <laughs> roll, roll me some initiative, <laughs> which 
for those of you who like, you'll see there uh, at the top of your sheets, there is an ad initiative option, or it's a D twenty plus your dexterity modifier. Just click the initiative option. <laughs> oh crap! All right, I rolled a nine. I rolled a thirteen. I also rolled a thirteen. Nine. What are we doing? Thirteen. Roll, so I click the initiative button. Initiative. This probably says like plus one or plus two by your armor class towards the top right ish. Top right middle ish. You see it? Say that again. It's Sorry, like underneath your right. proficiency bonus. Yeah, click the initiative. Through. It's in the top right like qu quarter of your sheet. It, it'll say either plus one or plus two. It's near your armor class. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Um, wait, did you say add your dexterity? Four. No, just click the initiative, it'll do it for you automatically. Yeah, yeah if you click initiative, it'll, 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 like, also, it just pops up for four. me. All right, Jimothy got a four, Larry got a nine. Uh, I got a 23. Huh. This man. <laughs> He's probably going first. He might be. Bud? All right, do you, do you, yeah, Valentin, you are up. Uh, wait, real quick, do me and Bud roll battle, because we both got the same number? Uh... Or is, is it convenient that we both got the same number because he's on my shoulder? Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of convenient, but basically how it would happen is like whoever would have the highest dexterity could go first, or in each round, you guys could go first, or I just, I'm using this initiative thing. You, I could, you could just, but I could just tell you who's going. It's your choice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll just let you go. Because yeah, technically you guys are going at the same time, so if at any point you're like, in combat when this happens you're like oh well let's ha let's have him go first because he's got a thing and mine's better as a follow-up there you go yeah. teamwork okay teamwork i'm just gonna, i'm gonna roll an attack again again and then trevor i'm sending you a link to the weapon and also the feat that goes with it which i would like mm -hmm. to have later instead of the one that i took if possible okay good <clears throat> i miss you miss? What did you roll? Uh, eight. Okay, yeah, that definitely misses. Nine, actually. Yeah, but, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, you swing out with your chain, and it just, it just, the wolf kind of ducks by, and it kind of hunkers down, and it's growling at you. Um, next up is... Yeah, my, just so everyone knows, I have it... a spiked chain. Like, the links actually have, like, spikes on them. Hmm. I'm trying to do something fancy. Do, do. And okay, so an electric guitar. No. The, uh, the the wolf in the the main hall with you guys. Mm -hmm. It uh it kind of crouches down and it's going to it's gonna it's gonna jump at uh let's see here who is it going to attack? Oh, uh, Larry, you're unfortunately the closest one it sees. Oh. So <laughs> you may get attack. Oh, it is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna pounce on you. Okay, my body's ready. And it's gonna kill you immediately. <laughs> it's gonna one KO me. Uh, this might be a bad time not. to know the wolf name's Justin. That, that, that's a nine to hit. Oh, if I missed, oh, I have a thirteen armor class. Oh, Let's yeah. go, Poggy Woggies. You kind of take a step back as it kind of goes and dashes off at, not dashes <sighs> at you. And just narrowly miss. Uh, nice, you little loser. Uh, Neb. That's, that's all I can do. Valentin, the wolf that is staring you down is going to pounce on top of you. Uh, oh. That's not great either. That's that's <clears throat> doesn't it does not hit. It jump oh. it dives at you and you kind of duck underneath of it. Wolf, uh, there's a twenty. <laughs> You're dead. Uh, Bud. It is your turn. Oh, Vud, go. It's gonna straight up attack the stupid son of a wolf. Alright, so... Got him, dude. Hit it with yeah. your, hit it with your axe. axe. You Use your right arm. Your right. Right. Your shoulder. I use the damage one, right? Yeah. Wait, does he have to make sure you hit it first? Did you do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Roll the hit. Roll. It's a d20 plus four. 
So just click the plus four next to your thing. You see where it says hit slash DC? Let's see if he even hits it. 20. Okay, so you hit. <laughs> Was it a natural 20 or just a dirty 20? That's a dirty so. 20. It would have said. Okay, it so you, yeah. All right, so yeah, you roll. Yeah, you you uh you swing out with your great axe and uh, let's roll damage. We'll see if you roll better than uh the damage you rolled originally. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's better. So you swing out and you smash into the side of the side of the wolf. Cleaving a massive chunk out of its side. And you watch as it's you, this, the smell of burning flesh and hair just kind of fills the room around you as it's just sitting there and it's snarling and growling. And like it's 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 got foam coming out of its jaws. Clefaris. No. Okay, I'm going to use vicious mockery. Okay. What are you gonna? How are you gonna mock the beast? Uh, do, do I click on the thing next to Vicious Mockery to use it? Uh, yeah, uh, no, it's a cantrip. I'm trying to remember what Vicious Mockery does because I. Uh, am... Oh yeah, it's a cantrip. It's like a ability. So basically, you yeah, yell at it. Call it stupid. <laughs> yeah, he's basically. <laughs> you're, 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 you're yeah, trash. You're bad. You're webkins. You're not even good. You're Call him dog water. Oof. Dog water. <laughs> Beta looking ass bitch. Better than a Costco free sample. <laughs> it's like you were literally. <laughs> <laughs> you were the uh, yeah, so it's, like, it's, it's, it's a it's a wisdom it's a wisdom save. So let's uh, see if how this works. Uh, no, it fails. So good job, Dent. Stupid total. Uh, roll me, roll me some damage. It's uh that D four. I I don't know where to click that. In your spell, uh, you see we're next. Where, when you click spells next to Vicious Mockery, you see that 1d4 icon? Two. There you go. So, That's damage. That's damage. Two points of damage. You, you watch as, as the wolf kind of sits there and cocks its ear, and then it looks just so ashamed of itself. <laughs> it's, like, me. it's like, did you call me dog water? <laughs> you heard his feelings. <laughs> like one damage is uh, pain, one damage is emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Larry, it's your turn. What are you doing? Uh, real quick before I do my turn, so the the wolf that attacked me, you said it narrowly missed and it went past me, right? So do I get an opportunity it's, like hit there or no? No, no, that was okay. Just, that's just I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I I just making sure. Uh, I'm gonna firebolt that one then. That's the one that just tried to attack me. I'm gonna firebolt it. So okay. I rolled to hit. I did a 17 plus five of 22 to hit. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Okay. You're, you're pretty close. You'd roll at disadvantage, but screw it. Yeah, you hit. I can roll at disadvantage if you want you me hit. to. I just only did that because it hits harder. Okay, I hit. Okay. It's yeah, 22. Ooh, I rolled a 7. Nice. 7. 7. 7, seven out of 10 damage. Okay, so nice. Like, you rolled a 2. <laughs> still, you just... You, oh, you reach back and you fling, you fling out this... This bolt, this fire, this like piece of fire energy streaks out, hits the wolf in its side, and the, and the flesh keeps is just like melting away, and it just kind of yipes, and it's kind of it's looking around, it's looking pretty desperate at this point. Uh, Jimothy, you're up. You're kind of watching. The, uh, your your friends tear apart this wolf. Time to <laughs> airbend this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, is there any type of airbending that like I really know yet, or do I have to like? No, you, haven't, no. you guys <laughs> haven't. You got. You guys haven't leveled up yet. You, you, you okay, so I just tried to just straight, I guess, power kick this dog across the room. All right. Make Round me out. an attack roll. <laughs> See what people... Uh, would, I, would, I do the, would I do the 1d4 or would I do the hit uh, DC? The, t the to hit. So you're literally Hitman Lee. <laughs> yeah, hmm. he's a monk. He's coming in. He's like karate chopping and... Three. Is my favorite Pokemon, no yeah, cap. Yeah, yeah, you hit. Go ahead, roll me some damage. Four. Four. <laughs> Alright. Just You guys have shot have have mocked, slashed, burned, and then there's I don't know where Jimothy comes like flipping over everyone's head and just drop kicks this fucking wolf and it's like what is happening to me <laughs> it's like i was trying to stay <laughs> i was just trying to <laughs> <laughs> valentine 
Yep. You are uh, soloing a, ro a wolf in the other room. What are you doing? Valentine's making me feel like shit right now. Can we text him? Did you see <laughs> this the Classic Probably uh, not. I have... No, I haven't looked at it. Okay. Hold on. Uh, you need, like, two seconds. Why'd you make a... Uh, uh, I was just so building a wolf. The, the chain has a special wolf. ability that I can choose okay. to make where with the special attack against a large or smaller creature, I can deal no damage, but make it to force or, or force it to make a dexterity saving throw or a strength saving okay. throw. On a failed save, it's grappled. Ooh. Okay, it is considered a, it is considered a large creature. Okay, well, it is large or smaller, so it's a legal target, right? Yeah. Can I yep. do that? Yep. Flag in. Okay. I'll roll for it. Um. Oh wait. Yeah, it's a save. Yeah. So, I guess I don't have to actually roll. It has to roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna make a dexterity save with the. Oh, actually. Uh, a dex or strength yeah. save. I'll choose a uh, uh, dex. Uh, it fails either way. It fails. I've this dice is fucking grounded. <laughs> I've not rolled higher than a five. Okay. Field. Then it is now grappled, but takes no damage from that attack. Okay. It is uh now the wolf in the uh halls. No, I think it's... Fuck it. The wolf in the hall's turn. It, That's, uh, yeah, the first wolf is the one that we've all been hitting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so uh, it's gonna look around. So, yeah, really, what do you guys know? I literally have a wolf, yeah. like, tied up with my chain, so someone yeah. can come hit it. Do you, like, oh. do you actually hold oh. it yourself? Like, are you are you safely away, like, I could do a long-range damage? Um, like, yeah, you, you... It, I have it grappled with my chain. If you get what I'm saying. Okay, so you're pretty close yeah, to it. Can... Okay. I just want to make sure to see if I should dagger it or if I should try to firebolt it again. Okay. I mean, you, could, you could definitely firebolt it without worry about hitting him. <laughs> oh, okay. Me and Vod. Yeah, so the, the dire wolf is going to take a try and take a chomp out of Rudy because, you know, it's just. My name's like Larry, it. you dirty little. It does, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bite Larry because Larry's. No, he's not. I'm going to stab him. Larry in the smells heart. like chicken. Boom. It's... You chicken. Fire. Hope he misses Guess me. What? He's just not gonna hit because I still can't roll dice. I love when you can't roll dice. I love it. Can I can I spit at him? That that, <laughs> that, that wolf, the wolf misses. And so uh grapple. I have to check the grapple condition. The wolf the wolf would like Does he have to make a attention. strength saving throw to get out of there? Like every turn? Yeah, I'm trying to see what it can and can't do in grapple. Because I don't have a uh <laughs> Joe's going to the wolf. Give me a little mama. Let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> I don't, cause I don't have my screen in front of me. I like my wolf tied up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you can still attack over Apple. It's just, at, it's just attacking at disadvantage. Yeah. All right. So it's gonna attempt to bite you, uh, Valentine. If there's anything I know about Trevor's rolling, is you're good, Valentine. He ain't gonna touch you. <laughs> Uh, you know, that was where you'd be wrong. That would be... Oh, crap, he had 20 twice. <laughs> That'd be a 24 to hit. On yeah, a disadvantage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> you finally learned how to roll dice. I'm glad they hit you and not me, Joe. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm glad he hit you and not me. No, we're, gonna be nice. we're gonna be nice enough, Valentine. Uh, right left. That is 15 points of damage. All right, I'm down. It sinks to your shoulder. You watch as this wolf is like tied up in this chain. Those of you can see in the room, and you watch his leech sword grabs onto Valentine's shoulder, and his eyes just kind of rolled in the back of his head, and he collapses. Oh crap! On the ground. Okay. Hmm. All right. Next, Vud. How far away is he from us? Uh, like thirty feet. Well, like twenty feet. Yeah, he's not that far away from you. Vud's AFK if that wants to go first since they ruled the same. No, I'm here. Oh, oh is, your camera's off. I don't know if you did that on purpose. Yeah. Oh, I, so I, I let her go first. Whoever wants, go first. Whoever wants to go, really. Well, I have a quick question. For the notes 
of he- cure wounds it just says vs like do i need to be do i need to literally touch him do i can i like be on his shoulder and uh, sing over him that is that means verbal and somatic that means you have to like say something and make a gesture to cast it yeah but there should uh, be a cure wounds is touch you have to if you see yeah if you see if you see range next to it you see range to the oh, left touch. I, I clicked on this yeah button. touch So you have to move over and touch him. Are you close how enough? Much is, how much am I able to like? What's what, your walking what, how speed? Much you to move? What's your top right walking speed? You can move speed? thirty feet. You... Oh yeah, I can move to thirty feet. Okay. Um... Yeah, you can move right up next to him and like, and be getting to get into contact with him. I'm gonna walk over and use healing, uh, cure wounds on Valentine. So do I have to click the okay. effect dice? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so just uh, click. Make sure you click cast, and then click the uh, effect. Five plus four equals nine. Nice, nice. Back up full. That's that's You're freaking back up pogs, home. dude. That's poggers. When it's that much, as he's getting right. up, we fist bump each other. <laughs> we fist bump each other. You can reach up. You kind of. <clears throat> you touch him, kind of whistling a tune while you do, and you watch his his eyes open up and. You are back to consciousness. That's how all my cure wounds are going to go. Get back in there, bud. Coach Dent. Well, you have. You also have a. That was your action. You. Have, I've been kind of speeding things a lot up a bit, but you have a bonus action you could also do. Uh, can, I bar- can I barrel? Can I barrel that wolf with the crossbow? <laughs> barrel stuff. <him. laughs> you can't. That, that would be an attack action, but as a bard. You can inspire your teammates and give them an additional D6 to use for uh, ability checks, attack rolls, or saving throws. I don't like my teammates that much. No, I'm, just, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> it's no more torso on my like, shoulder. So wh- where is yeah. that? Why why can't I see that? Uh, that is in like either your bonus action because if you go click on actions, you'll see all attack action, bonus action, reaction, oh, okay. other limited use. In your bonus action or your limited use is your bardic inspiration. You get four per long rest, which is like sleeping for the night. So, okay, can, so I'm going to use one. Yep. So you can just say point say like, "Hey, I'm going to do. I'm going to inspire. I'm going to inspire." Okay. Blah, blah. And if you want to come up with something flavorful to inspire your teammates to do better, you can. Some like uh, some people have like sung or like read poems or told a joke, or you're like, "Oh, I'm just going to throw them die." Throw them I know what to do. Trust me, I use this all the time. It really inspires people. He's one shot. He's one shot. He's cracked. No health. No health. One shot. <laughs> Who are you giving your D6 to? I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Aang over there, Airbender. Airbender Aang over there. All right. Jimothy, and you, uh, you have a D6 you can you can add to an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. At I, be- I believe in your... I believe in next, your... I think it lasts like 10 minutes. Yeah, for the next yep. 10 minutes. Nice. All right, Vud. Yes. What would you like to do? Gonna be a little honest. If I was AFK. Mm-hmm. So there's one wolf that's next to me that has been looking like desperate, like we can tell it's getting close. And then there's yeah, one the one wolf that, okay. that's next to uh, Dent and Joe that just knocked out Joe in one hit, but he's like on like 30 feet away from you. Mm-hmm. So you can run up to the one that's more dangerous, or you can just take care of this one right here. Either way is gonna be a good play. I think I'm gonna go help Valentine, okay. since I am kind of you know the big guy. Yeah, he's done okay. the most damage. All right, as you uh, move away from the wolf you are in combat with, it's going to make an attack of opportunity against you. Okay. Man, I was taking one of those in divinity opportunist. <laughs> uh oh god, I almost spilled. Oh goodness, you almost spilled that, huh? Uh, that's twenty. That's twenty-one to hit. So your armor class, Tig, what's your armor class? 13. So he hits you. It's going to hit, and... Uh, you'll take... 13 points of piercing damage. It's on reaction, that's not even his turn. And I need you to make me a strength saving throw. Where is that at? Oh, there it is. Sheesh, bro. That's a reaction that thing did that. 
Uh, an eight. That can't eight. be good. As you yeah. go to step away, this wolf is going to reach out and bite you on the back of the leg and pull you down. You are now not, you are now prone. Is he knocked? Yeah, what's your damage? No, he's... Are you good? Are you good, Tig? What's your Wait, hit what? points? How many hit points do you have? Tig, Minus 13. 14. I have one. Do you have one? Oh boy, okay. Okay, so you're prone. So basically, you could now use half your movement to stand up and move halfway towards... Uh, so you, even towards... you won't even make it to him. You know what? Let me help you out even more, even, uh, even more Tig, because uh, I forgot about this. You are a barbarian. So before you moved, you could take your bonus action to rage, which halves damage coming in. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got rage to... Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Do you take some barbarian? So, yeah, so instead of the 13, let's reduce it to 6. There you go. Taking every fight sure... we do, rage. Okay. Take over that. I'm going to choose not to use that. And roll your, strength, just roll your strength save again because you would have an advantage on it while raging. Takes like, I'm the Hulk, but I don't want him to come out. I'd rather be Bruce Banner. It's an 11. <laughs> 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 Am I right, Joe? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you're unfortunately, you're still knocked prone, but you can still get up and, and move out of range without getting another attack at you. Just, just hit the wolf uh, and bait. So... Okay. Just walk. <laughs> I'm at 8 health or hit points now. <laughs> Better than 1. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hear you complain. Yeah, so, yeah. So, you... Yeah, so you're not prone. You move. Take you if you choose. You could use half your movement to stand up, and then with 15 feet, you can get halfway towards. Uh, Tig, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but you should just hit the wolf close to you. That just hurt you because you're not gonna even make it to them. Yeah. You're gonna do nothing hey, this turn. But, but this is this is Clefairy talking to you. Hit that fucking wolf. You don't have a choice. Yeah, you kill the people. Now this now retaliate to that piece of shit wolf that I've already burned a hole into. Yeah, kill him. All right, like blood, the like, eyes completely bloodshot. You're just gonna turn around with your axe and just cleave into him. <clears throat> Which right. wolf? The one that's not oh, near the, you. The one in the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not leaving you. Sorry, buddy. I'm getting destroyed. So I hit the hit right. The... Don't worry, your best turtle friends here. What? Uh, what did you roll to hit? Sorry, I was in a different window. Uh, yeah, you rolled a hit. So it's 13. 13? That just hits. Cool. Damage is an 8. 8? Okay, I'll just make sure. Yeah. Alright, so 8 more points of damage towards this wolf. It, man, it is. It's rough. It's not doing too good. Alright, have a good day. Clefaris went Larry. Uh, am I far enough away where I can fire bolt the one that's next to Bud without doing a disadvantage? You would have to take a step back, but it's already like. I can take a step back. I mean, you, I have 30 like, feet to step back and make sure I don't have to do a disadvantage yeah, yeah, fire you, bolt. Yeah, that's my biggest step, damage. Yeah, you could take. You you could yeah you can take a step back and make an attack roll. Okay, I'll do that. It can't take it. It, it can't take an attack opportunity because it yeah. already used its reaction this turn. Bet. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, ooh, a twelve to hit. Twelve does not hit. Oh! I think a thirteen and above. You shoot, and it kind of go. It kind of goes wide and <sighs> it strikes against the wall. And it shoots Valentine and he's out again. Crap, dude. You you also have your bo You also have your bonus action. If there's anything you can do with that. I don't think so. Bonus action. I can as a bonus action. I can just like run faster, but I. I don't want to. <laughs> I got. I have a, what's it called? Exped, yeah. Expeditious. Cool, I'm not gonna retreat. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. All right. Um. Jimothy. Uh, oh, where, where am I at? You're cut. You're standing kind of right up against the wolf that's been taking everyone's abuse, right, in kind of the main hall. Okay. Um. How far am I from the other wolf? Uh, how far you? It's uh, it's about thirty feet. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll um attack the the wolf that everyone's been attacking so far. Make me an attack roll. Oh, please don't miss like I did. <laughs> well, doesn't he get two attack rolls? Because <laughs> I gave him that one. No, he can use that bless to give him another. Like if he misses, he can use that plus yeah, six. If... 
our 1d6 to attempt to hit it. Yeah. He could, yeah, he could add an additional 1d6. Spell. So with this one, I'm just going to try to punch a hole right through the right through the wolf. Huh. Okay. Poggers. Oh, I mean, I got an 8, though. 8. Ooh, you can, you you can use that d6. So it, it only lasts 10 minutes. Use it. Ah, oh, Joe, you're muted. Joe, you're muted. You're talking, but you're muted. Yeah, no, I'm I'm muted. I shouldn't have said what I said anyway, so. <clears throat> okay, so I'll, I'll use it. What are you going to say? You okay. can't punch wolf and wolf? <laughs> No. Um, do I just do damage now, or? No, you still gotta roll uh, d6 no, to see if you hit it still. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta roll the d6. In the bottom left corner, there should be a uh, little die logo. If you click that and find the d6 and just click it. Oh, okay. It should roll. Oh, yeah, should I, gave, roll. I gave you an extra d6, so now you're you're just trying to pass 13. Oh, dang. Oh. What? <laughs> not, <laughs> not enough. You kind of swing wide and it kind of, it kind of, it's dang. kind of hunkered down still. I am not fast enough. Um, uh, for a uh, you, uh, you do have movement and a bonus action if there's anything you want to do. Um, can't he use a key point? Man, I don't know what key I guess. I guess I'll just be embarrassed and then try to work my way over to the other wolf. Oh wait, maybe not. He's not. He doesn't have flurry of blows. Oh, oh, he can still use a bonus action to do an extra punch though with no key point. I'm is pretty this, sure. Is this true? Hey, go, to, go to your uh, go to your page. Um, and yeah. Yep. Yeah, bonus action. You do have a bonus action on That's extra. Good, I'm dude. Looking at it right now. Swing again. You dirty little panda. Uh, we'll swing again. again. I got thirteen. Thirteen. You hit. Let's go! Freaking poggers, dude. Roll some damage. Six. Six. Oof, you know, movie. because it's such a great... How would you like to kill this wolf? Oh, yes. Good. GG's, Ooh, dude. Uh, Make is there graphic. a way that I can try to... How far would I be able to kick this wolf if I just <laughs> straight kick it? You just want to kind of, you just kind of want to kick it as far like, as you can. Right. So I want to try to kick it in the direction of the other wolf and possibly <laughs> no, daze it if I can. I love it. I, fucking love I can it. do that. <laughs> You're cheating. I, 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 I have the this man thing for. No. Full sized wolf and I'm trying to think of how this play out because this is a this is this is a large wolf. This is a dire wolf. Give him a strength. Wolfie. Give him a major strength check. Let's get a nat oh, twenty like, on his strength. It's it's like it's like yeah, it's like it's like five feet tall, like on all fours. Strength check. Okay. Listen, yeah, Trevor, I'm not the DM here, yeah. but you should let him roll a strength check that'd be yeah, nat twenties. Make, make make me a strength check. Make that me a strength 20 check. this that twenty okay. this let's yeah. determine how far you kick the wolf. Nat twenty it I got eighteen. Oh, so close. Okay. So close. Not bad. So not bad. All right. So the other wolf trips on because it? this is this, this is the best way I, I can think about referencing this. Okay. Those of you who remember the the original Resident Evil movie. Yep. I'm out. <laughs> so basically, the dog's gonna turn and kind of look the rush at you. You're gonna go and kind of run up the corner of the wolf, spin around, kick the wolf in the jaw, and its momentum is gonna carry it forward. Tumbling into the dining room. Let me. D and D is the best thing ever. <laughs> and those of you who are in the dining who are in the dining room taking on this other wolf, you are sitting there, and all of a sudden, you watch as the wolf kind of looks up and ducks for a second as this the body of the other wolf comes tumbling through the air, <laughs> over the table. Plates are scattering and crashing and breaking on the ground, and it just tumbles and hits. You hear like bones snapping. Oh. As it hits the ground, it kind of lays there oh, limply. What is wrong with you, you dick? <laughs> I tried. It's like I was opening a door or closing a door. So it's just... Jeez Louise, bro. Oh, who's calling me? Oh, Peter. Hi, Peter. Gosh. It was Peter. Yeah, Peter, you did fucking what to the wolf? <laughs> you wanna? You, wanna you pick did up? what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Real quick, you said this was a five-foot wolf? Yeah, it's like on all four, it's like five feet tall. 
I'm getting my fucking pelt. <laughs> we need to finish this fight. I'm getting my pelt. You, you Are you telling me I just him, right? I just hunted a five foot wolf? <laughs> it was an 18 strength check. GGs. <laughs> no, Vant, you hunted my new coat. Yeah. Well, Trevor, uh, is it my uh, turn? Uh, yes, it's your turn. I said your name. I don't know if you heard me. Okay. Valentine. I don't know how you couldn't right. hear him over all the pelt. What would you like to do? I'm going to actually <laughs> now take the chain and wield two ends of it. So each okay. become E6, but I have to be within five feet now. Mm. Okay, so, so you're going to move up. Now the wolf's I, pretty close to you. I do have, well, yeah, actually, he's got to be because he literally was grappled and then knocked me out. So I do have an ally within melee of this wolf too, right? Yep, uh, you would have an advantage. Sneak attack. Mm -hmm. That you do. Thank God. Dude, you, I miss. I rolled two twice. Oh, no. But <laughs> All right, you wielding. that's why I'm wielding the other end of the chain, because I'm going to try and attack with my offhand now. Okay. Okay, that's a hit. Mm. And... It's going to be five damage. Nice. Okay. All right, you, you smack it, and it takes a small chunk out of the flesh around the jaw, and it kind of looks at you. It is now the wolf's turn. Mm -hmm. It's now seeing something it's never seen before. A turtle man. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I make turtle stew. It's going to try and eat the turtle. Am I able to use shell defense? Is that, is that a reaction? Yeah. Am I able to jump in my fucking shell? I have shell defense. Is it a reaction? I thought you just had natural armor. Oh, no. that's an You have, you have to use an action to do that. Okay, I'm going to use natural yeah, armor. At, at, bitch. God, that should be a... Why can't that I should... just jump into my shell? Hmm? That would be a cool reaction. An action. Blastoise. Yeah, right? Why can't I just jump into my fucking shell? You gotta want it. Even says in my character sheet, I can jump into my shell. Yeah, but it, it's a for some reason it's an action to do it. You just can't jump yeah. out of your shell. Remember? That's some bullshit. Um, yeah. you're stuck in the shell for the rest of the I, game. That would kind of bust it as a reaction, though. Yeah, you yeah. really never take damage. Let me have my turtle yeah. funnel. Okay? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you could you could possibly like crack the shell. You know what I mean? Just shut up over there. Don't that give me any is... Call it rogue kill. 22 to hit. Hey, fucking excuse me? <laughs> that one hit it. That one hit it. That one hit it. That was barely a hit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, barely. Wait, that was attacking me? Yeah. Did, did it just move away from me? Yeah, I was about to say it was nope. bound up. Well, it was stocked right up, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, Because he healed me. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, he healed you. Did I mention uh, that I did a full sprint 50 yards away from him after I did? <laughs> did I forget to mention that. <laughs> did you, uh, let's see here. That is. I was like, I'm trying to count this damage. Give me a second. Oh, you're I dead. Our healer is our healer is dead. If he has to count the damage like that, our healer is uh, dead. That's four. That's 14 points of damage. I hate you. <laughs> Are you down? I heal Valentine. That's what I fucking get. <laughs> Are you down, dog, or what? Are you down? Yeah, Are you down? I have nine fucking hit points. Oh, it was perma died, right? Watch right? as the wolf kind of That's bites a, down overkill. on Ferris. Why does the turtle whips him around and kind of throws him and throws him back towards the rest of you? I fucking hate all of you. You better kill this wolf already. <laughs> no, turtle man, no. <laughs> but like... it is your turn. Oh. Okay. Well. Yes, you pick me going. up, or I'm poking you with my sword next time I'm on your not. neck. You have zero hit points. We ain't saving you. I can't do anything with you. you I can throw you. Hit points. I'm not saving you. Just pick up your dead body and throw it. <laughs> I'm still a shell. Yeah, that's true. Bud, bud, this is what we play. This is what we plan for. You can just like frisbee him, right? Or like discus. Put, put me in my shell. And... Yeah. Whose turn is it? Bud. It's a uh, buds. Bud. Buds. Do it. That would literally kill you, Den, by the way. Yeah, what? Say, that would kill you. Uh, like, you could I'm... permanently die here. So what happens when you're I'm down, every time you take me. damage when you're down, you get, like, what is it, three hits? And if you get three more hits while you're down, you perma-die. 
There's al there's also saving throws, but let's see if we get back to it because right, we're, right, we're right. getting kind of close here. Just saying, you don't want to get thrown. Uh, <laughs> so both wolves are still alive, but, correct? No, no. Yeah, both wolves are still. Well, no, one wolf's dead. There's okay. only one wolf left, and that's the one. Yeah, I kicked him across the room. Wolf right, that's one. hunted thirty feet away. No, nope. <laughs> I want to make sure. Okay, uh, so then I'm just going to straight up attack it, right? Okay, you're gonna move in, attack the wolf. Get yeah, after oh, it. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. Uh, five to hit. You bitch. You yeah. swing, and it just goes wide, and the wolf kind of is like, man, this wolf's about to do some work. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll, dude? Wait, wait, wait. What did you, wait, what, Tig, what did you roll? Wait, wait, roll again, hit. advantage. You have a, you have You're raging. Blank. Aren't you, isn't he also raging? Does he get a bonus for that? I don't remember. He's, funny. Wait, yeah, before any of that, though, dude, what did you, what did you roll the first time? What was on the die? It, it was <clears throat> it was a total of five. Yeah, but I want to know how he's calculating because that seems really low. Yeah, what I think he I think what it says what, like on uh, the website. You rolled a one. Oh, you rolled a one plus four. You got a nat one. Yeah. It says I on the website the D and D beyond. He rolled the D twenty. Okay, so uh, I just you, yeah, you hit the wolf for sure. Yeah, nice. and then I roll damage. <clears throat> All right, six points of damage. You hit. All right, you swing in and smash into the wolf. It's it's looking rough. So, Clefaris, I'm gonna need dead. you to make me a death saving throw. No, you're unconscious. You're not dead yet. What? Uh, what's a death? Roll me a death save. Like, like... Roll roll a roll a d twenty. You need to roll above a ten. Look at the bottom so, left. So bottom left corner. 20. Nice. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no that, lie. That Doesn't that count as 20. two? What's up? <clears throat> Doesn't that count as yeah. two saves? Yeah, two saves. So basically, when you hit zero hit points, you're not dead. You're unconscious, and you're making death saves. Wait, so, so, so if, if you... I rolled below a 10, I died there permanently? No, no, no. no. If you You'd have to... one, you fail one save. You have to fail three saves. Oh, you have so to I succeed had... three saves. So Whichever now you have two successes. First. But a natural yeah. 20 counts for two successes. Wait, so, so if I hit... to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off. So if I roll three, do I wake back up? Yeah, let if me, you save three times, you wake up. Okay, yeah. yeah, let me try and explain it. Okay, so when you when you hit zero hit points, you go down. You're unconscious. From okay. there, every time it's your turn, you have to roll a d20. Now, if you roll below a 10, it's called a fail. If you roll above a 10... It's called a save. Follow me so far? Mm -hmm. So whichever happens first, you either hit three saves or three fails. You have to tally them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you yeah. could roll a fail, save, fail, save. Whatever. Like, whichever hits three first is what happens. Either perma-die, perma-die, or you stabilize and just remain unconscious. Okay, so and and like you said, a d20. I now have two of those. Two already, yeah. Since you got a d20 and you rolled a natural 20, that counts for two saves, which is really good. Let's go. But if you rolled a nat one, that would be two fails. It's a good thing I didn't. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. All right, Larry. Can I, if I can get to Clefaris, can I do anything to stabilize him? Because I don't have any healing spells, but uh, is there like anything I can do to can, stabilize them? You can, you can make a medicine check. I'd say with a high enough medicine check, you could stabilize them. Okay, so I'm gonna use as a bonus action my expeditious retreat, which lets me move at incredible pace. It says <laughs> for ten minutes, like it's I a mean, concentration. You have, you have... I'm a thirty have, walking uh... walking speed, but I'm trying to like what I wanted to do. My overall mm -hmm. turn was to get to him, heal him, and then also move away. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so my bonus section, I'll use Expeditious Retreat. So let me go ahead and mark that I use a spell. And then I'm going to try to. Question. Yeah. My hand is higher. Okay, so two questions. Um, so actually, I have to work tomorrow and it's really late. Am I allowed to yeah. just kind of disperse myself? Yeah, you can. I was going to wrap after this combat just because, or should I wrap as soon as I can? 
Okay, because I, I get it's it's really late, and I, I gotta get, go like right now. Yeah. Trevor, roll yeah, for you. Guys. Yeah, we'll fill you in because like we later. have like maybe yeah. five minutes left of this game, so. Yeah. Okay. okay. If we're gonna be, I run cool. a little. Let me know. Okay. I'll just text you what happens. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Good night, guys. See ya. Good night. See ya. Good night, man. Your character dies. We won't tell you. Yeah. Rudy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rudy, we might go a little bit later than the scheduled time. I'm okay but... with that. I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> you to to Man, why are you here? You died. I'm unemployed. I'm okay with that. So I have a question, real quick. Yeah. He's What's gonna that? try to stabilize me. Let's say he rolls a one. Do I now get a fail, or does just nothing no. happen? No, no, no. It won't. It won't count if he does. If he doesn't succeed in his medicine check, it's not gonna count against you. But if he succeeds, it, you'll be, you'll stabilize and you'll just be you'll you'll be unco- You won't be like awake. You'll be at one hit point, right? You'll be stabilized and you won't you you won't be dying. And also, if I get stabilized, can other can foe still attack me to unstabilize me? Yes. I mean, a foe can attack you at any point in time. Like if an enemy was smart enough after it knocked you unconscious, they could just spin the sword around and stab you again, and you'll you'd automatically lose two death saves. Gotcha. Like like if an enemy was smart enough and ruthless enough, they could just kill you after knocking you unconscious. With they could the technically weird... just straight up kill you if they deal enough damage on that blow too. Yeah, put it like this. Since you have, let me explain this now. Since you have nine hit points, if I hit you with eighteen points of damage, that's enough to bring you from full to zero, and then negative to full. That's death. There's if, no. If saves. they deal twice your whole, if they deal twice your total hit points, you're dead. You, you insta die. Vud, I need you to listen to me. If you ever. Let me off your shoulder. I will kill you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna attempt my uh. Make your... Yeah, make your medicine. So, what is incredible speed like? Do I double my walking speed? Triple it? Quadruple it? Is it literally says incredible pace with expeditious retreat? It should say way more than that. It says okay. I can read you the whole thing. This spell allows you yeah. to move at an incredible pace. When you cast a spell, and then as a bonus action on each of your turns. Until the spell ends, you can take the dash action. So it's dash double. Yeah, that means Okay, double. so dash, you can move an additional 30 feet. Okay, so I'm going to use my first 30 feet to get to him, right? And then I'm going to do my medicine check, which I... Ooh. Oh, only a nine. I was right next to the 16. Nine, you... Yeah, you can't. You don't. Not quite sure. Crap, dude. I'm not proficient in it either. All right, well, I tried, and then I'm gonna use my other like 30 feet feet just to get. I can I fireball from here without disadvantage if I stay with them. Actually, you've you've you've, you've used your action to do the medicine check. Okay, so I'm I'm here then. I'm like I'm just gonna stay with the boys. Yeah. Okay. Don't leave me. I'm here with the boys. All right, you're not. You're, I'm gonna yeah, try to like gonna body block. You're just gonna stay there. Yeah, I'm gonna try to body block for him so he doesn't get attacked while he's down. Okay. Uh, it's, it would be. Uh, do you want me to roll for Jimothy, or do we just want to say he's hanging out in the other room? Uh, just uh, roll for him. Yeah. All right. So he's gonna come. He, he's he's gonna he's gonna come at, come in and make some make a like a round of attacks at the wolf. Damn it! That was that went flying. Okay. You know that was seventeen plus five. That'll definitely hit okay Let's good job jimothy is me clicking it oh yep here we go this crisis lag of trevor is lagging oh. <laughs> really? Maybe. it's still rolling it's so slow it's so slow it's trying its best there we go it's it's literally like all right so six points of damage i'm not gonna do that anymore because that's terrible. This one's damage is a common bonus action, second strike. Uh, that is another hit. Where's my d4? Also, does he still have my inspiration? I no, he used it. Uh, no, he used it. That's another six points of damage. Uh, Valentin. Uh, it's my turn already. Holy cow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll make two attacks. First one is is definitely a hit. Um. So, mm-hmm. of course, it's gonna be eleven points of piercing. Nice. 
Okay. Because this is the greatest phrase in the absolute universe, <laughs> how do you want to do this? Yes. Nice. Poggy Woggies, um, boys. Got him. I take one end of the chain and just kind of like twirl it around and then lash it right across the face. And, and you just watch tear. As it just tears through it. Yeah, you watch these swings and the chain lashes across this wolf's face, piercing and popping its eyeball, and just viscous fluid are just sprayed everywhere. And it just kind of starts gnashing and bash and like thrashing around, and before it eventually just kind of stops and falls over. And then after I'm it's done, I just mouth. kind of keep. After it's dead, I just kind of keep twirling the chain, like flicking the blood off of it. <laughs> oh. Power move, bro. I That's a power move, dog. Peter, if you're watching this, all I did was call the wolf a fucker, so I'm going to call it. Nice. It's definitely so, not a name. It's a monster. Know, man. Toidles were definitely harmed in the making of this. <laughs> yeah, Toidles were. Yeah, so we're out of combat, so essentially you guys could. Take, yeah, take can I stabilize my here. boy again? Yeah, yeah, I'd say the time you can stabilize him and he can he'll, you can come back to one hit points. Waking up. You taking a short rest, long rest, or well, hold yeah, on, hold on. Let's get Den up real quick. Let's get Den up to one HP. Yeah, you guys, you guys want to take a short rest here? Dent could uh, use hit, hit, roll one of it, roll his hit die to regain some health, unless he wants to. Oh wait, you used your cure, cure wounds. Yep. I was gonna say, can I use healing wounds on myself? If you had a spell slot. Yeah, didn't you use them all? Oh, yeah, so basically, oh, yeah. you did detect one magic. One you did detect yeah, yeah, magic. Just so you know, Dent on the. On the top right of the sheet, where it's got your hit points, if you put the like in the, there's a little box next to it. If you click in there and you click put in a number and you click damage, it'll take that. It'll automatically calculate your the amount of damage you take. And if you hit the number and click heal, it'll do the same and heal you. And so basically, if you guys want to sit here and take a moment and take a short rest, yeah, definitely need a short click, rest. Just click. Yep, just click your short rest option and then click it again. And then you could uh, spend your hit die, which would be you would just roll a d8 and add one to it, and that's how much hit points you would regain. Oh, where's the? I click. I roll a d1. No, d8 plus one. Yeah, each so of you would have a different one. thing depending on your hit die. I like, know, my Tig. Yeah, Tig. I think yours would be a 12 plus your constitution, like a d12 plus your constitution. I pass uh, up back to full. Mm -hmm. Twelve plus constant. Okay. And seeing <clears throat> my guy wakes up and immediately, like in a panic, runs back up Bud's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Just like no, 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 no. So oh wait no wait, wait no wait real quick I forgot I'm gonna skin the five foot wolf and I'm getting my pelt. <laughs> You're gonna just take the time to skin the wolf. Yep. I don't care. You guys are all resting. I'm back up. I'm skinning that fucking wolf. Bet. Okay. Bet. So over the course, of the, you're gonna take the time to skin the wolf. So it is. It is eleven. Past eleven or. And yeah, we can wrap it up. Vance doesn't even here anymore either. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we'll have to let him know. You guys all level up to level two. Pod. Yeah. Yes. Do I one hundred percent level up. Yeah, we declare that poggery yeah. woggies. Yeah, so uh, next to your next to your name, click if you just click the gear, and you'll see manage levels. Click into that. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And just go at level two. And then, there we go. Yep. And then Holy select, crap! Select all right. Yeah, you guys can do all that off stream. I'm in. I'm in in this D and D session here. That was a ton of fun, Trevor. You're killing it. Is Dan, I'm glad you got D &D. to experience your first down. That was a good time. And Fuck uh, you. He has Vance, experienced combat. combat Vance isn't always be that easy. Yeah, Vance isn't here, but he's definitely the MVP. One, guys, just so you know, like it's not always gonna be like. Oh, dude, you get so many more turns the higher. Like even like level five is kind of nutty. Even level three is like hey. like a big bonus. Well, and also um, the enemies will get harder, but it's more like you won't go like have to be as afraid of going down in like one hit. You know. Yeah. Hey, uh, All right. GG's. Peace.